Yo, uh, uh, welcome to Protoss, everybody. Hey, uh, you picked the aliens. So this is what we're doing. We're doing laser beams and uh, predators with dreadlocks. Hell yeah, cool race. The, the beautiful race. People say it's the most beautiful race in StarCraft 2. Okay, so you can, that's something you can already... Achievement unlocked, you pick the most beautiful race that there is. Um, yeah. So, what are we doing? What is B to GM? If this is your first time around here, you've never experienced this before. What does it mean? What are we doing? Basically, we're going to help you learn how to play the fucking game. <laughs> help you not... Help you not get stuck in the pit of suckiness forever. Some people excel faster than others. It's understandable. Everybody's different. Everybody's different, guys. But this series is going to help you understand what actually makes sense, what you should be doing in this game, uh, what priorities should be, stuff like that. So as you can see in the top right over here, what we're going to be looking at from bronze to platinum, it's, the build's going to be roughly about the same the entire way through. And what we're going to be doing is we're, we might add on a little bit here and there as we get through the leagues, which is totally fine. Uh, but the, and the max will also go down in timer, which means we're going to get more efficient at what we do. But for now in bronze, we're looking at like an 11 minute max out. 11 minute max out in bronze, it's totally fine. We're getting used to the game. And just so you guys know, an 11 minute max is also already very, very respectable for lower level players. If you don't play efficient, you will never be able to max out at 11 minutes. It's not possible. Uh, like, if you're the kind of guy who takes gas way too fast, you will never max out at 11 minutes. So, we're going to be understanding what, how to basically build an economy for each race that we play. So, I already did it for Zerg. I did it for Terran. And now, you Protoss players, you're getting a little bit of your action as well. How do you build Protoss economy? Oh, let's, uh, oh, as soon as we get a game, we'll find yeah. out how to do it. Yep, I promise. Tr trust me. Protoss B2 GM laser beams. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
what is the resource priority mean? What, what are we talking about? There are two resources inside StarCraft 2. There is minerals and there is gas. So what that means is, is what are we going to be building now? We're going to be building, um, we're going to be building probes. We're going to be building nexus. We're going to be building pylons. We're going to be building gateway. Like we're building all these things that nothing in my build so far has caused gas. Everything costs minerals. Okay. All of it costs minerals. And finally, for the first time ever since we got the cyber core done, we're doing the very first thing that caused gas. So if all of our build costs minerals heavily, what that means is, is we want to definitely do a mineral focus on our build. Mineral focus on our build big time. Uh, we don't want to be that guy that has, like right now, for instance, if you're like, oh, double gas, uh, my natural. Uh, what's going to happen to you is you're just not going to be able to afford things like more nexus, more pylons, more probes at proper times and it's going to slow everything down for you like crazy because you're going to have way too little minerals because you are mining way too much gas right off the bat you don't want to do that now once we get a little bit of extra money in the bank we're going to increase our production a little bit for our units a good build we're going to be going for is going to be we're going to be, like i said before we're going to make stalkers all game we're just going to make stalkers and that's it okay we're, we're not going to think too hard about that just once you can make stalkers just make stalkers out of our robo, we're going to make uh, immortals, and we're going to not think about it too hard. Out of our gateway, we're going to make st or the other gateway, stalkers again. So it's stalkers and immortals. That's all we're doing. Meanwhile, we're getting warp gate out of the, the cyber core. That is a really good upgrade to get. And it, what it does that a lot of people don't know this is it makes you actually build your gateway units at a faster pace. It cuts like 30% of the build time off the unit every time you build it. Uh, it's crazy. So it's super effective. Definitely want to get that. It's a very important upgrade to get. We can start our Robo off with an Observer first and then make Immortals for the rest of the game the entire time. Okay. And then we'll be making... Uh, now that we have our Stalker or Warp Gates done, we can now start building Stalkers out of a Warp Gate. And you can see my money's pretty high. But we ha we have been making probes the entire time, which is great. Super good. Let's go ahead and build a Nexus over here. And let's build a couple of Pylons next to it. So... Again, what are we doing? We're building things that cost lots of minerals, not so much gas, which is why we don't have gas here yet. But now that we're fully saturated and we won't really get much more efficiency off this mineral line, now we can take our gas. Now we take our gas. We can also build a few more pylons because we are supply blocked. So, you know, that'll happen to you. I guarantee it. Just try to <coughs> build those pylons as fast as you can, once you can. And we're good to go. Okay. And now... Fully saturate this mineral line over here. And we're good to go. Alright, now we're going to saturate that, those gases. Mineral line's still looking great. Now let's re-rally our natural and our main over to our third base. Now how we can do this is super, super cool, super good way is we just built the Nexus. So let's, cl let's click the Nexus and let's hit Shift 5. What that just did is it just made this building Nexus added into the control group of my group 5. I could also just physically click Nexus, hold Shift, click this Nexus, hold Shift, click this Nexus, and hit Control-5. That would also work. Uh, that you can, you can bind things multiple ways, but we just want to have our, all of our Nexus that exist on the same control group. That's the idea. Meanwhile, we do the same thing with our Robos and our Gateways. We want to have these on Group 4. Uh, you can have it on whatever group makes you feel comfortable, but I think Group 4, for me, I like it. So this way we can hit Tab and we can rotate through our Cycles. And this way as well, for those of you, I know there's going to be some people out there that have a question that go, what about the warp gate hotkey vibe? What about that? You Don't you want to use warp gate hotkey? It's fine if you like warp gate hotkey. I'm not going to tell you not to use it. But one thing that's really nice about consolidating all of your production into one control group is you can see if it's ready to go and by hitting one button. I hit four and I go, oh, Robo's building something and gateways are on cooldown. Cool. I didn't have to hit a warp gate and then also another hockey for a robo. I got to see them both at the same time. Makes it way easier to manage your macro while you're doing things really fast. Okay, look at our base. It's fully saturated, right? So now what's going to happen again? We're going to expand again now, just like we did before. And now that we're fully saturated, we're also going to start our gases at this mineral line. Because we're not worried about undersaturating our minerals, which is definitely our priority. Okay. So we're just making stalkers and mortals. And now look at our money. 
I've made all my probes. I've made all my stalkers and mortals, and I have too much money. So now let's grab a probe. Let's increase our building area for pylon surface area in our base. And let's start building some other stuff in our base, too. Like, let's start getting upgrades. Let's start getting a forge. Let's start getting uh, our council. Let's start just getting our upgrades going so we can actually properly set things up. Let's also increase our production in terms of more than three buildings because, again, we can't spend our money anymore. It's going up too fast. So, again, what I just did here is I just hit the Nexus. I hit Shift-5. Now, this Nexus is also in the control group. Good stuff. Now, let's take this probe right here and go gate, 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 gate. Let's go up to, like, eight gateways. So, we just made an, an additional uh, eight gateways right there. Boom. Keep making units. Keep making probes. Here's another cool trick you can do as well. In top right... You can mouse over your supply and it tells you how much the zealot represents army supply and the probe represents worker supply. So it says we have 76 probes. The ideal number we want to be making probes to, and, and we don't want to stop making probes until we get here, is anywhere between 80 to 85. And just for the sake of like helping people, I would recommend you go to 85. Just keep mackering. Don't, does not, whatever's happening doesn't matter, guys. We don't care about anything right now, okay? Nothing matters other than the fact that we're not at 85 probes yet and we need to keep looking at group four. Keep producing out of it whenever we can produce out of it. Also, let's start upgrading whenever we can. Uh, and there we go. All of our gateways are finishing. Okay. So now, what we would do from here... Uh, I'll, I'll just go a little bit longer because, I mean, it's... He died. So what would happen now is look at the bases. This is where base upkeep really, really, really comes into play. We don't want to get in a situation where we, we just make bases one time and then we're like, okay, we're good. We're done. We're done now. We're never going to make bases again. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that whenever we uh, expand, we're, we're kind of like doing it at a steady pace. About every like two minutes or so, we're going to be expanding roughly. doesn't have to be perfect for now, but we're going to be expanding a lot. Whenever we saturate a mineral line, it's basically like right now, for instance, to be like, okay, cool. We saturated this mineral line fully. Let's take another base. And why does this make sense? It makes sense because mineral lines in this game and gases as well are temporary. They're not permanent, which is why we're oversaturated like crazy in the main base. So what we'd want to do now is we'd want to grab our probes, rip them off, and then send them over somewhere else. Like send them over here, for instance, and put three probes on this base or on this gas, put three on that gas. But look, we're still oversaturated, so let's grab four off here. And let's send four more over here to the next one. So now we're perfect, we're perfect, we're perfect, and we're perfect. And this would be, you know, you, you just don't stop doing this. And then now once this base gets set up and let's say more patches start mining out here or something, like right now, you'd probably want to do something like take another base again because that way you can actually send probes to this base. And once it's fully saturated, you're not going to have just probes doing nothing. You're going to have probes that can be rotated to a different base all over again. We'll talk more about the build as we go. It kind of sucks that this guy quit so early, but this was just kind of the first example. Base upkeep is a serious thing. We'll get more in detail about it later. But the final thing I would say, the, the final thing I would say is, is we're basically just spinning our money as fast as we can get it, ideally. We're, we're like, as we're making money, we're trying to maintain production. That's the biggest thing I want you to know. Number one, maintain production out of what you have. Maintain that shit. Number two, uh, have a focus resource in your build. What, what we talked about this game was minerals are our focus resource. We always prioritize minerals, and then gas is a follow-up. Prioritize minerals, gas is a follow-up. Prioritize minerals, gas is a follow-up. Every time we expand, we do this. And what does it do? It gives us the ability to do this, like where we have a situation where the guy shows up at my base and I have a lot of supply. A lot of people, again, would freak out during that attack and be like, oh, God, we're going to die. But look at the supply already, guys. Look at the worker count. Look at the resources. This does not bode well for Red, the Terran player, if he's mining 800 minerals roughly a minute and I'm mining triple that a minute and also gas when he's mining no gas. What's happening every minute is I'm getting way more resources over time and I'm just able to do what with that? Spin those resources on units, on production, on everything. I'm able to make so much more stuff than he does, which is why not only have I invested into tech, which is a negative because it's expensive to do that. 
uh, in terms of like your just your supply. It's exp you, tech isn't free. It doesn't give you give you supply either. It costs resources, but we've invested in a tech, and we also have almost double double the supply of my opponent, who is going pure marines off reactors. That's it. So again, all we're doing is macroing. We are just macroing. And we're maintaining a supply lead of double pretty much the whole time. Now, we didn't watch it in the game because this is this is not what the priority was in this game. This fight is not the priority. The priority is macroing the entire time. It's getting good at macro. But just for the sake of showing you what it looks like, this is what it looks like when we don't even... We're, we're like AFK in the fight, essentially. I don't even touch my army during this. I don't micro my army once. Go back and watch the VOD if you don't believe me. Like back up eight minutes in the in the in the VOD. We don't concave this. I don't pull stalkers in and out, whatever, during the fight. I just warp in stalkers as he shows up. That's all I do. I just warp in new units because he's already fighting my army. If he attacked over here, I would have go select I all I would have done if he attacked my third base, and I would have heard your base is under attack. I would have selected all army. And I would have A-moved towards my third base. That's all I would have done. Because, <laughs> again, the priority is macro, not micro, and tunnel visioning your micro. So, and, and also to elaborate on that, a lot of people are like, why, Vibe? Why is that a thing? Why Why can't I micro? Here's why. If you, micro, if you try to micro and you're not at least in Diamond League, you do something called tunnel visioning instead of multitasking. Multitasking means you're doing both micro and macro at the same time. You're doing them simultaneously. It's multitasking. If you tunnel vision, though, which is what bronze, platinum, silver, gold players do. I said it in a weird order, but bronze, silver, gold, plat. Those players in those leagues, they tunnel vision instead of multitask. And what that means is, is they stop macroing. They sacrifice it to then go full on into micro. Because they don't do both at the same time. You have to do both at the same time. And the only way you can do that is if you get so good at macro that you can do it so fast that you can do it in like one second and you have a second to spare where you can do it while you micro a fight. Players that are higher level do this every single time they take a fight. Every single time they have a Banshee in the base, a Reaper in the base, a Depths in the base, Speedlings in the base. It doesn't matter what it is. Every time they have units in your base, they are going to multitask. And if you don't do that, it means you don't multitask. And it means you shouldn't be doing that yet because you don't even macro properly. That is ultimately what I'm trying to get at. I hope that makes sense. But that's why I tell you, do not be the guy who goes for micro and only micros at these leagues. Because watch production. For, for instance, watch production right now in the production tab. Just watch this. During the fight, what happens? Terran takes the fight right now, 823, right? What does he produce off of 1,200 minerals? What are we producing? We're producing immortals. We're producing stalkers. We're making gateways. We're making probes. What is Sarah making? Terran is not making anything. And you want to know why? It's because he is so fixed. This is how everybody plays at these leagues. They're so fixated on the fight because this is what the game has culminated to because they're like, am I going to win or lose this? I need to know. If I need to stutter step my Marines, I need to be there. What, whatever they, 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 you know, they just think that the game is going to end. It's going to be made or broken on this one fight. And if you play that way, if you always play Starcraft in a way where you go, this one fight is going to decide the game. Well, it is going to decide the game, and you're always going to lose if that's how you play. Because you will, if you play against someone where one player does not multitask and the other player does. The player who multitasks and does both micro and macro at the same time is always going to win. And going back again, how can you multitask if you can't even macro properly? You can't. You cannot do it. So that, because the, again, the reason why I'm stressing this point so hard is because so many people, even though last series I made for B2GM, I stressed this point as well a little bit where I was like, don't micro guys, only macro. People still fucking micro in fights, and they still do this all the all day. I coach people daily that are like, vibe, I love B2Gym series, but I still micro every fight I take in Silver League. And I'm like, why? Why are you doing this? You're just developing bad habits, boys. 
How are you going to build micro multitasking, micro macro together when you can't even macro properly? You can't do it. It's like another analogy I like to give for people like this is think of think of juggling, okay? Juggling. Well, juggling is like multitasking. Think of, imagine if someone gave you tennis balls to juggle, okay? Where you're like, "All right, I'm going to I'm going to juggle tennis balls right now." Well, if you fuck it up, guess what? You're not going to you're, you're fine. You can try again. But then what if you got the guy who can't he cannot even juggle tennis balls yet? He goes, "Now, nah, give me the chainsaws and light them on fire while you're at it." I could do that already. And you're like, "Can you?" And what does he do? He throws a chainsaw up and he tries to, and then he throws the second one up and then the t- the time it takes him to throw the second chainsaw up, the first one cuts his arm off and he's like, "Okay, Maybe I couldn't handle that. I, I guess I overstepped my, my boundaries here. I, uh, I I didn't know what I was talking about. Never mind. I should probably get the basics down first before I go to the advanced shit. So just learn how to macro. It's so it's mandatory if you want to get better at this game. Mandatory. It's mandatory. You gotta do it. And yeah, that's it. Then he quit the game, obviously, and there you go. Oh, we're going to another one. We're going to another one, boys. Go into another game. But yeah, so generally speaking, the concept is we're just macroing. We're learning how to macro. We're learning why we're macroing, what we're doing, what like what minerals mean, what a build means. We're doing a build that is an expansion defensive build. And you know what those builds are? Probes, nexus, pylons. Minerals, minerals, minerals. Lots of minerals, right? tons of minerals in these builds so we're definitely focusing on mining minerals over gas and then we're going into upkeeping our base where we're not going to let the main base have 16 workers just you know afk sitting there because all the patches are gone we're going to grab our minerals or our probes as they mine patches out and we're going to send them to new bases where they can mine efficiently again so again the, we're going to do the build this time we're gonna do the build uh, if like correctly. We're gonna go. Last time we did it incorrectly, where we went gas before nexus. This time we'll go nexus before gas. Okay. Just or rather, sorry, I actually uh, I said that wrong. Last time we did it correctly. This time we are going to do it incorrectly, where we'll go nexus before gas. Again, it's fine. It doesn't matter, because what the you know what it all adds up to. We're taking the gas either way when we're fully saturated on the mineral line. It does not matter. These are things that will make more sense as you get better at the game. But for now, all you got to understand is make units constantly. Make units constantly. And uh, make sure it's efficient. Make, make sure your probes are efficient. You keep making them. Give them a new base to mine from. Make sure it's efficient the whole time. These kinds of things. Now we'll take our gas now. And it doesn't matter. It's fine. It does not matter. Don't, don't stress about the build order that much. Just stress about understanding what minerals mean. And why you should mine them as a priority over the gas. So now our, our gateway is done. So we want to grab a probe. And we want to go build a core. Okay. So we're saturating our gas now with three probes. We can now build our second gas. Because why are we building our second gas? We're still fully saturated. We're prioritizing the mineral line. We're good. We can build our second pylon so we don't supply block because we're getting really close to supply blocking right now. Okay, and one thing as well we didn't even use last game at all really is Chrono Boost. We'll actually talk a little bit more about Chrono Boost this game. Uh, it is substantially beneficial to what you can do as Protoss. But there you go. Look at our mineral line. 16 with 3 and 3 on the gases. Now let's rotate the Nexus. Let's... We took this, we, we shifted it into our control group, and we took both Nexus and rallied it to the new base. So now let's go ahead and let's make a Stalker and a Warp Gate. And let's start Chrono Boosting out probes. Chrono Boost probes. Let's Chrono Probes like crazy. And let's also take, uh, we have money we can't spend, so let's make our second buildings. Let's make our Robo and our Gateway. We're going to do this every time. We're going to go two Gateway Robo every single time, and we're just going to Chrono Boost out probes like crazy fast right now. Let's make another pylon over here. And we're not worried yet about building placement. I know there's some players right now that are like, Vibe, that's an Overlord. You should probably wall that. We'll talk about that more as we get to like Silver League, honestly. I think I made the mistake of tearing Bronze 3 as well, talking about it too early. I don't think I should talk about walling that fast. So, anyway, whatever. We're just Chrono Boosting Probes. Chrono Boosting Probes. Just 
do 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 Okay, let's start making an observer first, and we'll go do mortals all game after that. And we'll be going stalkers the entire time. Literally stalkers the entire time. Chrono boost my probes, chrono boost my probes. And now look at the mineral line, right? Let's go take our expansion, because we're fully saturated. Let's go take another base. And it's going really fast as well, because we're doing it off of chrono boosted probes this time. Which is crazy, and no, we're getting attacked. So, let's go ahead and try to build a nexus. And we're good to go. Okay, we're getting attacked by some shit. If this happens to you, just green box your probes and A-move. Fuck it, dude. Keep making probes. Keep making probes. Make stalkers. And it looks like we're okay. So let's grab our probes and send them back to the middle line. If you get attacked like that, you're more than welcome to pull probes. Like, don't be the guy who's like, I can't ever pull probes. Yes, you can. Attack with probes if you get attacked like that because you want to know what that means. Your opponent's attacking you early and you're the one who's macroing and you're getting all in essentially. Like they're being aggressive and you're macroing. So you have to pull probes then. Okay, so let's select our army and let's go defend our third base because it's getting attacked still. So select our army, attack over there. We're fine. Keep making army. Keep making army, keep making workers. We're gonna keep chrono boosting our probes. And we just made a bunch of pylons and our gas because we're trying not to supply block and we're fully saturated so we take our gas. Okay, let's make an immortal. Let's make a stalker with group four again. We're just watching group four. We're watching group three, making sure we're making probes, making sure we're making units out of here. See, the warp gate just came up, so make a stalker. Saturate my gas properly. And mineral base is fully saturated every way. Rally to the third, keep making probes. Keep making probes, guys. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, make some more units whenever we can. Keep making probes. Make another unit. Make another immortal. Okay, so he's attacking again, so let's select the army and go over there again. Keep making probes, keep making stalkers, keep making army. You can A move with my my boys over there, my uh whatever they're called. My uh thingies, my probes, stalker. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's keep making units. Again, this is a macro test, guys. It's a macro test. Can we do it enough? Let's gonna boost my probes. Okay, let's select my army and go over there again. Let's try and build a pylon too, so I can actually warp in units over here. Okay. So we're making stalkers. Select the army. Have it go to the third, because he's still attacking it. Okay. Keep making probes. Chrono boost my probes. Keep making units. Try to never stop making units. That's the biggest thing you can do, again. It's so important. And we're getting close to fully saturating. We're getting close. So what happens when we get close? We get ready to go expand again. Make another unit, because we're again, we're watching group four, we're watching group five. Making probes, making units. Go expand again. Okay, he's got units over there. So we gotta send units to go cover it. The probe probably will die. Let's grab another one. Try and expand. I miss rainbow hair vibe. Get rainbow hair and I'll donate again. No. Actually, I'll probably donate again anyway. Hell Great yeah. Great series. Thank you very much, dude. I don't like rainbow hair. I don't want to do that again. All right, so now we're our money is getting really high and we, we're having trouble spinning it. We're fully saturated here too. So now let's start making more gateways. Let's just be like, gateway, gateway. Remember how we make eight gateways? Let's make a bunch of gateways. We'll warp in a unit. Warp in anything, anywhere, whatever. Let's A move towards that base too, because it's getting attacked. That's how many gates. That's four gates. We're looking for four more gates. So one, two, three, four. Let's also make a forge and a Templar archives. All right, sorry, a Twilight Council. This way we can actually upgrade our stuff. Keep making units as much as possible. Saturate our base properly and rally to my fourth base we just made. <laughs> make an immortal. Make stalker. <clears throat> Let's make a couple of pylons wherever we can. I don't care where you make them, just make pylons. Look at our base. It's oversaturated now, right? Grab some probes. Take it off. Put them down on the new base. 
Probe count is at 75. We're not done yet, so we're still working towards that. Let's start a weapon upgrade for the forge. We just added all of our gateways into our control group, so now we have 10 gates in our control group and one robo. Let's make stalkers. You have not enough minerals. <laughs> Keep making probes. Probe counts at 79, and look at the mineral line. Fully saturated, right? Let's take another base. We're always basing everything off of the mineral line. We're fully saturating the mineral line and then being like, okay, okay, well now we just try to expand and there's Ling Bane over here. So let's select the army. Let's go clear it out. Okay, army, go clear that out. Okay, and now we're gonna get attacked by Midas. How about we warp in here? Okay, so warp in some stalkers. Keep making probes. So try again to expand. Okay, so mutas have compromised this base. So it's okay. We're going to have to just keep making probes for a while then. Keep making stalkers. Let's select our army and go back to our main base now. Because... Uh, I mean, we've killed the third, or this base up here, so we need to go home now with this units. Let's grab our gas. This is the moment where a lot of people freak out. Just try to macro through it, literally. Don't just a move everything and try to macro through it. Keep your keep your head on and ma keep your, keep your head on straight and macro hard, dude. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and build a pile on here so we can actually repower all these buildings. Let's a move our army up here now because he's going back up there. Build another pile on over here. Keep building probes. We're at 76 probes still. Let's saturate these gases properly. Okay, let's transfer a couple of probes over here. Okay, he's back in the main base again. Let's make more stalkers again. Okay. Okay, my units are still over here. That's A move there earlier. They're still there. We're at 58 probes. Okay, now he's Ling Bane busting my third base. Just keep trying to hold the line, dude. Do your best. Let's A move this base now. Okay. He's attacking this base, so we can warp in some stalkers here. Okay, now he's up there again, so let's go up here. Let's grab a probe and let's re expand. Let's transfer probes back to this base, because again, we need money, right? We need the monies. Also, that gateway's in a horrible spot. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Keep making probes. Keep making the probes. Make a pylon over here. Keep making probes. Transfer some probes around that are oversaturated again. Get a good saturation going on here. This is still over by two. Transfer it somewhere else. Let's try and make another pylon here. Okay. What's going on over here? Okay, lots of mutas. Make more stalkers. Select my whole army, come back and attack towards my main base. So we might lose this game. We might lose this game. But, I mean, it is what it is. The whole strategy of how we're defending this is how you should be playing. This is how you should be trying to do this. Don't micro. Literally, A move towards wherever the fights are happening. And if you happen to lose, well, guess what? It's not going to be every game. You're going to lose one game. It's okay. Try to build more, more probes again. And he just killed my other base with more Ling Bane. Looks like we're probably going to die. Because we just have level 2 weapons. His lings are 2-2 as well. Yeah, we're super dead. From here, we can't win. We're super dead. But if that happens to you, don't be discouraged, guys. Don't be discouraged. It's okay. It happens. You lose sometimes. This build, this uh, series is not about literally winning 100% of your games. It's about learning what the fuck you should be doing in moments of crisis. 
And in the moment of crisis right now with macro, what you should be doing, it's not giving a fuck. Who gives a shit? Just macro. Just macro. That's all you got to do. Just macro. And if you, again, if you lose, play another game. It's totally fine. Um, yeah, no, that, again, also, StarCraft 2 is a game of people of all leagues. So, I mean, if, if it happens, it happens, right? I, it's not a huge deal, guys. It's totally fine. Just try to macro your way through the situation. It's the only thing you really can do. <laughs> that guy wasn't bronze at all? Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I'm not bronze either. But I'm making a guide for bronze, so I'm not going to... Uh, one thing I, I made a rule as well in, my, in all my series that I've done before is if I do play someone who is genuinely not they are they are playing against me and they don't belong there if I was like okay this guy's genuinely fucking like way above what his the league is right now I as well am not going to play like I'm a masters player or like a GM player because it doesn't make any sense cuz if I do that you can't do that it's not about winning and losing it's about teaching you how to play the game right so who gives a fuck if I lose it's not a big deal okay Oh, there you go. You, you win some, you lose some, right? We just got a free win right there. <clears throat> you seem really level-headed. I appreciate that almost as much as the guide. Yeah, well, I mean, it's... it's Again, This who's this guide for, really, right? This guide is for you, the viewer, who is genuinely trying to use it to get better at StarCraft. It's not about me trying to smash a, a bronze player being like... Guys... Okay, look how good I am. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> okay, we're finding this guy repeatedly now, so... Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, when you're, when you're in crisis like that, when you're in a moment of crisis where you're like, Oh God, are we going to die? Are we going to die right now? It's not about... You know, it, it's, it's just about like sticking to the plan essentially like get, what the plan is right now is i'm trying to develop a plan for you guys i'm trying to help you develop a plan so that you can get through it and it's about really sticking to the plan that you've made for yourself that's that's what it really comes down to and the, what is the plan learning what uh it, what about a build makes a build efficient and in, uh, minerals right minerals make a build more efficient than gas you can't expand a lot off of like Half of your economy is mining gas and be like, cool, I can do this efficiently. It definitely won't be. Uh, so th learning what it, what makes a build efficient is good and how to do it efficiently as well, which is like uh, also making workers, like making 100% up uptime of your buildings. That's also really important. Stuff like that's really important. Uh, and then, yeah, like just trying to stick to it the whole time. Yeah, we're playing Mr. BM now, so we'll see what... We'll see what this is all about. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. I got sniped like multiple times last time as well. We'll see if it happens again. I already. I don't know if I got sniped by that last guy, but if it, it was, it was. It's fine. Stick to the plan, guys. Make a plan and stick to it. Get a plan for yourself. <laughs> and again, all we're doing right now is we're trying to understand how to chrono boost out probes with a, a somewhat efficient build, right? Of just like mineral focus. Of greed. So you can like actually macro properly. Okay. So let's chrono boost our probes once here. Throw it at it because the pylon's done. We have enough supply to sustain here. We'll send a probe down to the natural, and we'll get ready to take our expansion. 16 probes in the mirror line, so let's let's rip one off to make it 16 and maintain that. So we'll rally the, the nexus to the gas. That's totally fine, so it can fill up the gas. Because, again, we're mineral focusing our build, right? That's, again, all of it what it's about. Let's go ahead and build our core now. Let's get ready to build our second gas. And let's uh, rally our probes to the second gas. 
Okay, build a pylon. And then we can cl click our Nexus, shift five it into our control groups. Now we have five on Nexus, four on Gateway. And Gateway will add in the other Gateway in the Robo when we finish those. Okay, let's ra now that fully saturated, fully saturated, fully saturated, everything's fully saturated in the main. Rally the natural. And let's start chrono boosting probes again while we make our warp gate and our stalker. We can make a pylon down here as well with our probe. Because again, we don't want a supply block, right? And this way we can also warp in units at the natural. Yo, quiet mind, they give the bits. B2 GM or who? Make them probes. Yeah, dude. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so he's got a Reaper in my base. Again, we're not really fixating on it. No, don't fixate on that. Make work, make probes, guys. Who cares about a Reaper? If he attacks us, A, move him with Select Alarmy. If he doesn't attack us, forget it, it's even there. Who gives a shit? It's not the priority right now. If you can't handle Macaring properly and you're trying to get... Just like doing Build the Gateway, Build Robo already is challenging. That, like doing it as fast as I just did right there. Within a second of each other because you got to like hit the hotkeys properly. Work on that first. Get better at that. Now let's look at our minerals, right? We're almost there. We're, we're getting closer and closer. Let's keep chrono boosting our nexus so we can keep making probes quickly. I am here in the okay, we can build a pylon. And whenever we build a pylon too, check this out. If we select a probe like this, let's say we want to build a pylon. You can hold shift and right click a mineral patch. And it'll make the probe build the pylon and it'll come back and mine minerals right after. So you don't have probes that sit there at a pylon like that all day. And you're like, oh, idle probes. Don't do that. Okay, let's go ahead and start a f another base because what? why are we doing that? Mineral line is basically fully saturated. So we want to expand again. Okay. And then while making probes, let's make stalkers. Immortal. Make one observer first, always. And then always make immortals after and then just make stalker. Let's also get, let's get our units down to the front of our natural. That way we can protect it if we get attacked. So we'll just start warping the units here. Okay, let's get our gas going. Shift, right click a mineral patch. Okay, make stalker. Make immortals. Make some more pylons. We can increase the surface area in our main base a little bit. Just like add two more pylons in or something. This will just allow us to build a bunch of gates later when we want to do it. Okay. And build our probes. Okay, fully saturated, fully saturated. Rally everything to the third. So I click this Nexus, shift five, hit five, right click the mineral patch. So every Nexus now is rallying to the third base with probes. Chrono boost my Nexus. Make units, and we're, we're macroing like a beast right now. We're macroing like a beast. Everything is going well. Let's make a pylon here. Make a chrono boost again. How's this going over here? Chrono boost is about over. Chrono boost again. How's this going? We actually can't afford a chrono boost. So no chronos available. Okay, make units. And we're still spinning. We're, we're, what are we doing? We're maintaining production 100% of the time. We're making probes. We're making pylons so we don't block. We're making stalkers and immortals. We have no money. And why do we have no money? Because we're making units the entire time. So what does this mean? It means we shouldn't be adding on more gateways yet. That's what it means. Now look at the mineral line. We're fully saturated. Mineral focus. So let's take our next base because it's fully saturated. We need more probes to send to a new base because we're not done making probes until about 85 of them. And currently we're only at 64. So let's make another base. Let's take a couple gases and let's keep making probes. Let's keep making stalkers and we have an immortal in production. But now look at this. Look at my money. Suddenly, th once we hit that three base threshold mark where it's like, okay, we're still making probes. We're still making stalkers. We're still making immortals. I have 600 minerals, and it's still going up. Okay, I can't spend my money anymore. It's going it's going up too fast for me to spend it properly at this point. It, it just keeps going up. So maybe now is the time when I should add in those gateways. Why are we doing it now? Because we can't spend our money out of the production that we have. Maintaining production is the biggest deal of all, but once you can't spend your money anymore, now you can add more gates. So now we're adding on another eight gateways. Saturate our gas properly. Saturate the gas. Rally. Shift click the Nexus in. Rally over there. 
Probe counts at 79, so we're almost done. Green box about six probes off. We've got nine, so we can go one, two, three. Shift click off. Right click the other six over the base. We're good to go. Shift click all these gates into group four. And then now we can make it suddenly a lot faster. Okay, and now we can make a bunch more pylons because we don't, again, we don't want a supply block. And check out my base, right? We're about done on probes. We're just about done, but look at the mineral line. It's fully saturated. Let's take another base. We can build it. So we go over here, B, N for Nexus. Hold shift, build pylon. Let go of shift, hold shift again, right click the mineral line. Okay, we're getting hit by a liberator, so let's go attack that. Keep making probes. Now we're losing probes, so now we gotta make more. Make units again. Also, at this point too, we can make uh, we can make our forge and we can make our council. How many probes we got? We got 79. We're almost fully saturated again. Let's resaturate that base properly. Okay, now we're getting attacked at that base, so let's go ahead and attack with our stalkers on a move. Select all army that way. Every time we can hear an attack happening, just keep making probes. And select the army and go over there. Don't worry about micro, really. Just right click a mineral line that needs to be fixed. And now it's dead, so let's A move our army back to the front of our base. Okay, so probe count once again is at 70 or 79. We're almost done. Okay, we're gonna get attacked by another unit. Let's go select the army over there. Select all army, go this way. Don't even micro. Again, micro not required here. We don't want to micro at all. Probe counts at 80. Let's saturate this base now. And now we're at 85. We're good to go again. Let's take our gases here. Okay. And now we're about to be maxed out. Or we're like, we're getting, oh, we're on our way to maxing out, right? I think we're not making this too complicated right now. All we're doing is maintaining... We're trying to maintain good mineral income on as a priority. And we're just making a bunch of stalkers. And immortals. That's all we're doing. We're getting close to maxing out, so let's go ahead and shift A move across the map. We're going to A move every expansion that exists. This is actually... It's funny. This is the first time I'm showing you guys this. Uh, with the Protoss series. Which is like game four or something. But we're... Uh, we're going to A move. Shift A move. Shift A move. Shift A move across the, the map. And this time around, we actually maxed out at 9 minutes and like 48 seconds or something. So that was actually way above par. I actually macroed this way too fast. So, my bad. I gotta slow that shit down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Boom. Now we got... We found a base. What about up here? What's going on up here? Anything? Nothing's really going on up here. Chilling. And, okay. So now let's select all army. And let's A move right here. Shift A move right there. Shift A move right here. Shift A move right there. Shift A move right there. Why are we doing that? Because we saw army over here and it killed our stalker. And that's, you know, the closer side to where things were. And we know that there's no bases on the right side other than the natural. So we'll eventually get to the natural. So we're checking the left side first. And we found a base. So we're all, we always want to check outside going in, not just go in. Always check for expansions before you attack into the guy's main base. Now behind this... What we're going to do is we're going to make like an extra two robos. One or two robos. We'll, we'll make one. And we'll make an extra like ten gates. So we go to a point where we have a lot of gateway robo. Okay. Okay. So add in the, the robo. Click it. Shift four. Control click a gateway. Shift four. Control click the gateway, shift four. Every time a new one's built in the other areas of the screen, we are control clicking them. We can make new units in the process of all our armies out there. Make it immortal. Okay, we are at 22 buildings. We're at 20 gateways and two robos. That's plenty. Tw anywhere between 20 to 24 production buildings is really like solid. So that's good for us. And at Mineral Field, how are they going? This one's depleted. Okay, let's grab these probes. Let's grab six of them. And then tell six of them to go here. So we have all six selected. Right click one of the gases. Shift one, two, three. Right click the other gas. 
Okay, this base is also almost fully saturated, so let's let's build a new base because we're starting to mine patches out. So we want to make sure things still stay optimally saturated. This base is also mining out. Transfer these probes here. Let's build this gas because again we're fully saturated. Let's build a bunch of new stalkers. Let's build some new immortals. And look how fast we can remax. This remax potential is humongous. So, yep. Now, if you actually want to make your build even more efficient here at this point, too, it wouldn't be a bad idea as well to start chrono boosting your robos and chrono boost your upgrade so you can get faster immortal production and faster upgrades because you have enough nexus with chrono boost to do it. So you might as well. Make a bunch more stalkers. Make more immortals. And now we're maxed out again. So, chrono boost these buildings again. And now let's select all army. And let's A-move to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom of that first because he might retake a third base. We don't know that yet. Our observer is actually still in his base because it never died. It was on A-move as well. Okay. Mineral fields are depleting. Where are they at? That one's gone. That one's good. That one's good. This one's good. Send them over here. Okay. Let's A-move now. A-move here. Shift. A-move there. Shift. A-move here. Shift. A-move there. The reason why we do that is because if he raises this depot, if you A-move straight up from a, on a Terran player, someone who walls off their base, if you go from here to here, your units might like derp out on that cliff or they might derp out on this cliff because the AI doesn't realize it can't go up the ramp. It's just, it gets kind of stupid. So if you A-move the base of the ramp in front of the depots, your units will always get line inside of it and then they won't derp out because they'll always kill the depots then. That's why I, I do sometimes in front of the depot like that if you guys wonder why I do that. Okay, and now the units are dying, right? So let's rebuild, 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 rebuild. Just hold shit, like I, what I'm hitting is four, S, hold shift, click, 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 click. Gotta boost my upgrade. Okay, we just found more command centers over here. So let's select the army, A move here, shift, A move here, shift, A move here, shift, A move here. Again, we wanna kill expansions. Killing expansions is very, very, very important. Super important. We don't want this guy to have expansions. The way you can win StarCraft 2 all the time is by killing expansions of your opponents. Okay, let's go ahead and honestly take another base. Because more mineral fields keep depleting every second. And gases will so, uh, soon after follow a trend of that. So this base is depleting again. This base is also depleting. Let's grab our probes. This base is good. This base is oh, depleting. This base is mostly fine. Let's send probes here. This is pretty new. Let's start a couple of gases there. And we're good. Start a couple of mortals. We're still maxed out. More mineral fields are depleting. We're upkeeping our base like a like a beast right now. Send probes away. Vespine gases are depleting. Grab these. So here's another trick, okay? Here's another trick. If you have idle probes on the left side... All right, idle probes. So gases especially will happen with this, or when mineral fields fully deplete, this will also happen. Let's let the main base entirely deplete for a second, and then I'll, and then I'll show you how to quickly grab those. I don't know if I already showed you with the Protoss series. Okay, so we can grab two probes here because they're over. So grab two. This base is also over by two. Grab two. This base is under by four. Perfect. Send four to there. Easy peasy. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you have 13 out of 16, 14 out of 16, 15 out of 16, it doesn't matter. It's just don't have red. Always have extra room to send your probes to so there's no red. Now check this out. Look at the main base. Watch this, guys. We have probes right now that are all idle. They're not They're not doing anything, right? Right now we ha currently have seven probes that are idle. If I hit F1, it selects one probe at a time. It rotates which probe is selected. See how the green circle is changing all over the place? If I hold control and hit F1, it'll select all of them. And now I have all of them selected. And also, if I'm not even looking at them on the screen, I can hit Control F1, and it will select them. So I can actually do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and A move the rest of his base, because he's kind of not dead yet. And he's actually building a planetary in front of my base. So when this happens, again, don't freak out, guys. Who gives a shit? Let's remake some probes. Remake probes, and then any excess supply that's open, just start making units. Just make units around it. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, this guy's floating command centers all day. So he might not stop floating command centers. So let's go ahead and make some stargates. That way, if buildings fly off the map, we can actually kill them. We'll make like six stargates to make some voids with if it, if it comes to that point. All right, same thing happening here. Make some probes and make some stalkers. We can A-move our army up there. And let's do it once more time. With whole army selected, go shift, A-move, click, 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 click. I just clicked every single base on the map that I haven't scouted yet. Again, since the last, like, five minutes. So we're just looking for the bases. We just shift, A-move to whole army. Okay, let's keep getting upgrades. Now let's go to armor. And how's the bases going? This one needs to, that probe needs to be back on mining. We can control click our, gate, our stargates. Shift four. Boom. Stargates are now in their group. Grab two probes. Oversaturated. Send them over here. We can even take another base again. Thanks for the time commitment you're doing, Vibu. Smile. Yo, Zyker, thank you for the 50, dude. Good lord, man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you, man. Okay, so... Nice. Uh, again, it just comes down to efficiency of build, right? It's all it is. It's all we're learning right now. It's developing habits to understand what a good build looks like. What, like, resource-wise. Don't be the guy that's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for triple nexus, and I'm going to take all six gases on 30 probes, which means each mineral line is going to have about eight probes on it. And then you're like, what? Oh, God. Or, like, not even. Like, six probes on each mineral line. Or like five. That would be really bad. Alright, watch the watch the supply. Look at the supply. Look at the supply. Look at the supply. Let's really quickly look at look at the build, right? Let's let's just gauge really quickly. So that's how to defeat a seventeen minutes planetary fortress rush. Thank vibe. Yeah. No more triple forge. We're not worried about triple forge right now. We're not worried about triple forge. We're not worried about build order. We're not worried about any of that shit right now, guys. Again, these are like steps for a player to take, okay? If you're learning StarCraft 2 as a bronze player, getting triple forge is the least of your concerns. It does not fucking matter. What matters is understanding don't take gas inefficiently. Okay? Don't do that. Because look at look at our build. What have we done with our build? We've done a bunch of pylons. We've done a bunch of gases. Uh, that, well, oh, I mean, the, the building itself, yeah. rather. It costs minerals only. We've done uh, a core. We've done gateways. We've done a lot of probes. We've done a lot of things that cost minerals. We, we have some army here, too. But it always came after the minerals. It always came after the minerals. Not before. After. It was a follow-up to the minerals. And we can still afford this army, no problem. Macro-wise, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Uh, thank you, call me bastard for the uh, sub tier one, dude. Much love. Now check out the supply, okay? When uh, look at the supply when the fights happen. I gotta go to bed. I'll be back, and we'll check the vods too. Have a great stream. Thank you, Sammy Chuck. Much love. So this is when liberators were attacking us. The Liberators themselves killed 26 probes, guys. We just lost 26 probes to two Liberators. And why did we lose 26 probes to two Liberators? Because I didn't micro my probes once. We didn't we didn't pull a single probe away from the mineral, the mineral line when he was getting liberated. They got liberated like crazy. But guess what? 26 workers just died, but yet I still have a 30 supply lead and I still have a 12 worker lead. That's not bad. And the reason why that is, is because, again, the goal for you is not micro. It is macro. Who Like, worry about microing later. Don't worry. Like, worry. Don't get the... Don't don't get tunnel vision. Don't get tunnel vision. If you start fucking microing against liberators by pulling probes off, pulling probes on, pulling probes off, pulling probes on, you're going to start doing that thing where you're going to tunnel vision, and you're going to stop. Before you know it, you're like, oh, I saved 26 probes, but I didn't build 40 when I could have built 40. Because I keep fucking pulling things off the mineral line and microing, and then I don't macro at all. It, trust me, it's real. People do that all the time. People do it all the time. They just don't macro while they micro. So here's the fight that happens. He shows up. When he shows up, he has exactly... 
116 supply to my 155. Which is fine, right? We have a nice supply lead. Again, we're not microing this at all. And check this out. Look at the one more one more time of this fight. Watch production. I want you guys to watch production in this fight. Watch our production and watch uh, Terran's production. <laughs> so fight started, right? The fight has begun, and it's been going on for a few seconds now. And what has happened to the barracks? They stopped producing. What has happened to the, the factory? The Thor is about to finish, and the Thor, the factory, stops producing. He actually made one marauder. He can make much more than one marauder, though. He's got 4,000 minerals in the bank, so he can afford more than one unit, right? I'm, I'm surprised he made the one, though. Good. I Well done, Mr. BM. I, no, nicely done. You made something. Most people make nothing. They literally make nothing during the process. So then when the fight when the fight ends and the, it's like, okay, well now no more fighting. Usually that's when people start macroing, macroing again. But like, check this out. Not a single SCV has been made in who knows how long. Like he has decent mineral lines though. Thank God for him. But how long has it been since an SCV was made? It's been a while. So this is either a three base all in or it's a super delayed fourth base for economy. And that's the kind of shit you don't want to do to yourself. And look, there's a command center. And SCVs will probably start being made as well at some point. But that's the that's the painful thing about, you know, everything here. If you just don't macro properly. Is you fall behind like crazy. That's why we're maxed out already. He's not. This happens all the time. You have to be able to understand how to max and how to macro properly to advance. I know it's going to sound like a broken record. And I'm going to say this 5,000 times. But the reason why I say it so often is because people just don't know that. I coach people daily, platinum, gold, silver, and they don't understand the process of maintaining production to your whatever you have. It's always micro. Like, here's the difference, okay? Look at the camera for me. It's in the base. It's macroing. Look at the camera for my opponent. It's probably going to be looking at the army. It's looking at the army. Everybody plays like this, and you shouldn't play like this until you can multitask. And that's why you get situations where <clears throat> a player will, you know, overpower you and kill you. That's why at the end of the fight, look at the supply right now. It's almost, it's getting closer and closer to maxing in for Protoss, and Terran is just plummeting right now. It's rough. And again, this, this army has not been microed once for, for us. It's on 100% A move. 100% A move right there. Because you, you want to know what, what has happened in the time that if I was microing this army, what's happened instead is I set up another base. I set up another base. I probed myself all the way to 85. I made a bunch of stalkers. I made a bunch of stalkers and immortal. This would not exist if I tunnel visioned the fight as well. Oh, yeah. Yo, Lando, thank you for the sub. <clears throat> Much love, dude. And now we're maxed out again. Versus now someone who was... The guy, the Protoss was at like 140 or 150 or something last time. And now the Protoss... Or it was like... Oh, like I think the Protoss was like 40 supply behind me. Or 50 supply behind me. Now the Protoss is 140 supply behind me. So it, it just gets out of control. And this, this right here, doing what we're doing... Like, look at the mineral line. Look at the gas. It's all fucked up. No gas was taken and the mineral line's fucked up. Look over here. I mean, every SCV is dead because they had to be pulled, which is fine. But the economy is fucked. For Terran. And it might have been fucked as well before the fight even happened. But it, uh, it, yeah. It, he actually, I remember, he actually had decent economy spread for the three bases that he had. But what we're doing oh, for economy management, yeah. for, uh, for developing good habits and learning priorities, is we're prioritizing the economy and we're always making sure we maintain good saturation. We're not staying in the red severely every time. Like every time we have red, what do we do? We fix it quickly after we fix it quickly after this is fixed this should be fixed as well in just a second fixed quickly after we always make sure we're always not in the red so th that's how you're going to uh you know manage upkeep very well
You have to keep it going, dude. Keep that going. How did you get the bronze? You have to leave league and then leave game to get that low. You don't ever start in bronze. You have to leave to get the bronze. I think this is the Zerg I played earlier. That was like the guy. Was it the guy I lost to? I don't remember. It's it's the same guy again. He's sniping me again. Okay. Sick. Sick, dude. Sick. I'm not going to play real. I'm going to same thing as last time. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Please just bust his ass. People always say that. And you have to realize I am not intimidated by anyone in StarCraft, especially someone who's going to snipe a beta GM series. <laughs> Like, I don't care. I'm, I, don't have, I have nothing to prove right now. There's nothing to prove. The only thing that it does if I go down that road is it detracts from the series. Because the way I'm going through dealing with this guy, you yourself could deal with a guy just like this. You could deal with a guy who, you know, is going full tryhard in Bronze League. Uh, who doesn't belong there. Which is, that's very possible. So, it's really just sticking to the plan, right? Get a plan and stick to the plan. If I beast mode this guy and I'm like, oh, okay, this is some like fucking platinum player smurfing in bronze and I go full GM mode, you can't do that. So it, is, it serves zero reason for me to do that. Like it doesn't help you at all as a player, unfortunately. What helps you is actually knowing how to deal with pressure like in a crisis. So all we've done again so far is I've expanded. I took my, my gateway. I took my, my uh, nexus. I've taken my gas off of good mineral line saturation. All the basics that we've been talking about this entire video so far. It makes chat happy. Chat's happiness is fleeting. It goes away as fast as it comes. But this video is forever. This video on YouTube is literally going to be there forever. So I'm not going to ruin the video by playing like a GM player in bronze. Okay, so here we go, dude. Uh, fully saturated gas on both and a mineral line. Now let's go ahead and take our natural. And we're just chrono boosting probes, just like last time. Chrono boost probes. Chrono boost probes. And again, we are in Bronze League, so scouting is literally out of the question. We're just trying to understand how the fuck a build operates. Like, how do we actually set up a build? We don't care about anything else. Nothing else matters. It's just setting up a build. And pulling probes or something if we have to, if we get attacked. But yeah, it, that's the only thing we'll do. It's, it's just micromanaging my economy, not my army. And not the map itself. Just the base. Okay. Keep making probes. We got our robo on the way with our stalkers. <clears throat> Current boost my probes. Okay, we're about ready to take our expansion because our uh, natural mineral line is about to be fully saturated. So let's go set up our third. Let's go set it up. Let's make an observer out of my main. Warp gate's done. So again, we're just maintaining production. And make two stalkers. After two stalkers, let's go ahead and make two gases. Because we're again, we're fully saturated. The full saturation is always the deal here. It's always the priority. Let's make another couple pylons.
Okay, we added the Nexus in with Shift 5 into our Nexus control group. Make an Immortal. Make Stalker. Saturate my gases because we're oversaturated. Add minerals heavily. And the gases are done. And now let's rotate to the third base. Transfer one probe over and Chrono Booster probes. We can make another pylon over there. It's all about economy, boys. Don't mess up your economy. Don't be the guy that gets put in a situation where you're like, oh, I'm playing against someone really aggressive in bronze. I need to play aggressive as well now. No. Trust me, if you get better and better, the better you get at macroing, you will overpower people like this with straight macro. The reason why people in the chat even say for me as well, where they're like, Vibe, why don't you just kick the shit out of this guy? The reason why I can do that is because I can actually macro a lot faster than this. <laughs> so work on your macro, develop it, and it, you'll get better and better and better. It's such a better long game for you than, like, it's you're playing the long game that's, like, going to take you further than if you just resort to all inning someone who all ins you too. And thinking that the only way to win games is through aggression. Okay, so we're fully saturated on the third. So let's keep making probes, keep making units, keep making stalkers. Remember how we talked about our money? Right about now, our macro is going to start getting to a point where I can't spend the money anymore. It's going to, like, we're going to actually hit a, a tipping point where it's like, okay, the money just never stops. So let's make a couple more nexus, or a couple more pylons in the main near our nexus. Let's get our gases going up here. And keep making units, keep making mortals and stalkers, but we're ready to start exploding our uh, gateways. Only those who have the patience to do simple things perfectly will acquire the skill to do difficult things easily. Yes, very correct. That is very, that's very true. Okay, we just attracted the gas, still making probes. Let's grab our probe in the main and let's make eight gates, just like we did before. Eight gateways. One, two, three, four. Make stalkers while we're doing this. Immortal, we need to make an immortal as well because it's almost done. We need to make probes because we're not done yet. We're almost done though. Again, units are priority over buildings. So now we go back to making gateways. We need to make two more gates. One more gate. And last gate. Nice. Now let's make a forge and a council. The reason why we make the council as well for now is so that we can go beyond level one upgrade of our upgrades. So we're not stuck at level one forever. Okay. And now we're done probing, guys. After this next wave of probes that finishes, we're done making probes. So now we can start switching our chrono boost to something else, like to Immortals, for instance. That's totally fine. Let's make a couple pylons over here. And then check out my mineral line. It's basically done, right? Let's go ahead and take our next base. Take our expansion, because we're uh, prioritizing our minerals. Make another Immortal. Make a Chrono Boost of Robo. And uh, Ro Chrono Boost Robo and Chrono Boost our Forge. And then make Stalker. There's holding Shift and clicking the mouse all over the screen. Okay, we're getting close to maxing out. So let's take a Stalker and Shift A move the right side of the map. Take another Stalker and Shift A move the left side of the map. We're looking for where our opponent's base is. Transfer a probe. And again, look at our minerals and gas. We have way more gas than minerals now with what we have. So let's stop making gas for a little bit. Let's prioritize minerals more. Let's let's just let mineral lines be saturated. Okay, so let's transfer some probes. Over there. Okay, Zerg has an expansion in middle right. So that will, looks like that's going to be our first place to attack. Which we will do momentarily. Take another panel up here. So we're stuck. Okay, so grab our army and go A move here, shift A move there, shift A move here, shift A move there, shift A move there. The reason why is because he killed my unit before it scouted this, so I imagine there's probably a base there. So let's check it with our attack. Okay, now behind this, let's make a second robo. Let's make stalkers again. Let's chrono boost out our forge and our robo. And let's make a bunch of gateways again so we can keep remaxing. Okay, so keep making units. I'm here. 
keep currently boosting out upgrades and uh, immortals. How many gates do we have? We're looking for about 22 buildings. 20 to 22. We have 20. 20 is fine. We'll stop at 20. So keep making army. Mineral field depleted. What's that? Okay, right here. Grab some probes. Transfer them over to a new base. Saturate properly. Build units wherever we can, wherever they fit. Grab two probes off this, because again, it's not perfectly saturated. Okay, and then make more stuff. More gateway units. Make immortals. Chrono boost out my immortals with the forge upgrade. Keep making stalkers. What about my mineral lines? How are they doing? Good, 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 good. Okay. Chrono boost, chrono boost. We just chrono boosted. We just so we held five. We hit C, click, C, click, C, click on my forges. Or sorry, on my forge and my robos. Okay, now let's select all army. Let's A move, shift A move, shift A move, shift A move, shift A move. So I just A moved all of his bases on the screen. Let's take another base now because we're getting ready to probably run out of resource patches uh, at our other bases. Like they're starting to get depleted a bit. So let's. Main's good. Natural needs to be fixed. Third's good. That base is good. Transfer probes here. And keep making units. Also, our gas is getting kind of low now, so maybe let's actually now upgrade our gas because, again, we're watching resources. And now that we're we're starting to lose the gas, it's getting pretty low in the bank. Let's go ahead and start making more gas. Okay. Keep making immortals. Keep making stalkers. Chrono boost upgrades again. Chrono boost, chrono boost, chrono boost. Get weapons. So now he's attacking that base over there. He has a lot of lurker. Okay, so we're dealing with a lurker zerg here. That's fine. That is what it is. Yeah, let's go ahead and shift A move here. Okay, this guy's... He is trolling pretty hard. Alright, and now in this situation... At this point, you're probably going to die again. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second, but this is, again, something that we'll, we'll talk way more about as we get higher league. But for now, in bronze, this is not really a priority because micro is required here to not die uh, against something like this. Um, but what should happen now... Uh, for a situation like this, for this to be proper, is if you play against someone who is going for Hydra Lurker uh, style, essentially, what you need to do is you need to be very careful with your observers. If you lose, if you just shift a move your army around the map, your observer will fly in and it will die. Your observer will literally fly into the guy's army and it will die to Hydras and Overseers. So... If you don't take care of your observer, which, again, in Bronze League, this shouldn't even be a, a thing you're doing, your observer will fly and die, and then all the lurkers will be invisible, and then you'll run in and you'll you'll die because lurkers will just kill everything. So what you need to do is, is like, one way we're going to talk about doing this later. I'm not doing it yet, but what we're going to do later is you can actually shift they move your army around the map. This will be something we do more around, like, Gold League or like maybe, like, Platinum League. We'll shift they move around the map, and we'll take an observer, and we'll right-click the observer on the immortal we'll just right click an immortal with an observer and what happens then is the observer follows that unit and it never over commits into the fight but that requires again more micro from a player and that's something that this shouldn't even be a factor for you in bronze it's way above bronze it's not even a it's not even a thing you should be thinking about this is bronze yeah this is bronze three is what we're playing right now and uh, I'm obviously not playing a real bronze three player.
<clears throat> I'm sorry, Chin Chin. I don't know what an RM is. If you're talking about a replay analysis, it's not something I'm going to do right now. I'm doing a, a rematch. Oh, I'm not rematching. No. I got a series to make, bro. I'm not doing custom games. I'm sorry, dude. I'm not going to do custom games in a YouTube video for a series. That's supposed to be Bronze and GM. I'm not going to start just doing <laughs> like practice games that don't raise them anymore. You didn't bother me. You're totally fine. You just made me realize I, I had messages open, which, to be fair, someone that... Uh, I got him anyways. Someone that can... You know, say some nasty shit. Could say something to me and on the YouTube video and it would be there forever. But now they can't. Because I turned the social off. Yay. People are great, aren't they? Also, Chin Chin is listening to the stream. Oh, boy. It's already happening. I probably, I think tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, stream delay. Next time I do this, I'm doing stream delay. Sorry, chat. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have uh, some non-communication stream delay going on to avoid getting sniped all day. <laughs> it's, it has, it, it, play the the Shang Tsung voice clip. It has begun. People are awesome. Okay, so we're going for a gateway. We're going for a chrono boost on the probes. All this stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready to take our Nexus, because again, we're fully saturated on the main. Always the plan. Always uh, basing our expansions off the previous mineral line. <sighs> Can we get bronze to... Bronze level cheese? No. No. No, guys. You know what the beautiful thing about this though is? Is this is a this is going to be a YouTube video. So anyone out there who's like, this is gonna take way too long, you always you do have the the means to skip ahead, right? You can skip ahead in the video. I'm not gonna start doing shit that bronze players can't do. It fucking defeats the purpose. Okay. So now we're going to be going for a robo. We're going to be going for another gateway. Okay. Don't even uh, micro the stalker. Just let it be. Like, it just, it, the Reaper's out, or whatever. Stalker's going to do its thing. If the Reaper happens to get away like that, you can just A move it towards the Reaper's location again. It is what it is. Don't. Again, what am I doing in this whole process? I'm making probes. I am not microing my stalker. My stalker is literally being controlled by the computer right now. I didn't touch that stalker other than saying A move there. It just does its. Uh, it has a mind of its own, boys. It has a mind of its own. Okay, I'm just making probes still. Don't get distracted. This is where players all the time in low leagues always freak out and they're like I got a micro ah, no I can't lose anything and then you just don't make anything don't fall into that tra that don't that's a bad habit don't fall into that habit it's really bad it's real bad dude it's real bad don't do that it's not good okay so we're about to take our third base We're going to start making Immortals. Keep making Stalkers. 
Warp Gate's about done, so when Warp Gate's done, we'll be warping in Stalkers two at a time. Uh, this Mineral Line's pretty much fully saturated. So we Chrono Boost our Nexus again for more probes. We can make our gases here, because we're good on minerals. We don't want a supply block, so we need another pylon. This Nexus will also give us more supply when it's done. And now let's go ahead and make more Stalker. And again, build super mineral heavy, so we're just focusing on mineral heavy stuff. Okay, we can transfer a couple of probes to both gases. Okay, my pylon's under attack. Let's just A move my whole army towards that location. Forget about it. Forget about it. Just forget about it. Okay, we'll transfer some probes. We need to re relocate our nexus. So, shift click the nexus into my control group and re rally to the to the next base. Chrono boost probes on every nexus. Make stalker. Immortal is still doing well, and we're still keeping our money down pretty well. So we don't need more production yet. We don't need more production yet. Just make uh, whatever we the existing stuff that we have already. Another mortal started. Stalker's are ready to start. What's happening here? Okay, he's hitting me with tanks. So when it comes to tanks, get your army, like do this with the army. Just group it up for all the like, group your army together. And then A move and go back to macroing. Tanks are something that will destroy you if like if if, if you walk into an army like that when it's set up, you will die. Like if you just don't have enough. There's a good chance you could die. So Try to just like group it up and then wait for like five seconds and do other shit in the meantime, like Mac make probes and then a move towards it when it's all together, not all scattered. If your army happens to be scattered already. Okay, so we're gonna make more pylons. We're taking our gas at this base because it's fully saturated. Let's go ahead and send this probe down there. Re rally all my nexus to the new base. And look at my money. It's starting to get out of hand. I can't build. Or I, I, rather, I can't spend my money as fast as I want to anymore because it's going up too fast, like we talk about all the time. So now that my money is getting crazy fast, crazy high, while maintaining production, add more production. So make two stalkers right now and then add on all my extra gates and my forge and my council. So eight gates with a council and a forge. It's the same thing. Like, it's pretty much the same thing every time. We're just, well, you know what, this time... We're not going to add eight gates. We'll add five gates. Again, the build, the, I want to make sure you guys really understand it. The eight gate thing is not the important part. The important part is understanding to build more gates when you have more money than you can spend. And why do you have more money than you can spend? Because your money goes up while maintaining production out of existing production. That is why you build more gates. Ultimately, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, you want to get to about, 80, uh, about 20 to 24 production buildings. But just make more production when you can't spend your money anymore, when your money goes up too fast. And that usually happens around the time when your third base is fully saturated and you start a fourth base. Okay. So we're making all of our gateways into a control group. We're building units. Let's go ahead and make a few more pylons so we don't block. Make more stalkers. Transfer probes. We're getting depleted. So fix that. And again, look, and, oh, here, wait, what's going on over here? We got a battle cruiser. Okay, so you know, again, we're still making probes. BC is uh, BC is going to do B th BC things. It's okay. Make more stalkers. Just make units. Transfer probes. Transfer them up to this new base that we just made. Probe counts at 88. We're actually above what we need, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, we can get our army located to, towards the main base. Just A move towards the main just because that's where the BC is located right now. Uh, and then we're going to go back to maybe or to making more gateways again in a robo. So, Because, again, we're, we're getting to that point to where I have more money than I can spend. Let's take our gas here. Let's go ahead and scout on the map where his bases are. We're still at 85 probes, which is nice. We just got to make sure we're actually mining properly. So if it's in the white, it's good because it's not oversaturated. No red. 
We're good. We're good. That's bad. Take one off. Move it over here. Now we're good. And this is bad. So put on gas. And we're good. Everything's good. Okay. So grab the rest of my production really fast. We have currently 14. Let's go ahead and make a couple more. Uh, again, doesn't have to be perfect. Anywhere in the realm of like t around 20 to 24. That's uh, what, what's what we're going for. So I just made a bunch of gates. This guy's still on two bases. So that is what that's going on there. Let's go ahead and get ready to start another base because our bases are starting to mine out of patches pretty fast. Like main base is getting lower. Natural is about to start depleting here very, very, very soon. Um, and then third base will follow suit shortly after. Grab my gates I just made. And we actually somehow went up to 24 production buildings, so that's what we got. Let's go ahead and A move towards those BCs. Like, go here. Just in general. Okay. And then make more units wherever we can. Okay, he's flying around my base. So if your opponent does shit like this, I'm glad this guy is doing this because people like to do this kind of shit. If your opponent is this kind of a guy who's going to just be annoying, you just got at the map, A move his natural, go into the natural, A move the base of the ramp into the main, go into the main. And now, if he's the kind of guy that does this to you, warp in new units to defend it as he's here. Just let it be new units. You can keep making probes as well at the same time, but don't chase this kind of a player with your entire army the entire time. He just wants to waste your time. That's all he wants to do. So if we just make new units to defend it out of our Thanks big production, for starting we're good. a newbie 2 GM. Your series is one of a kind and the game a lot more fun because of it. Can't wait for Terran. Thank you, man. I appreciate the 3947 Randoid. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. So our probe count is not great again. We're looking for more. We're not ideal. Keep making stalkers at home. Wherever I can. Forge. Let our enemy know our fury. I don't know what this guy wants from me. Okay, <laughs> and let's take another base. Make more units. Okay, and now we're maxed out again, so let's do it all over again. This time, let's just A move the mini map into his main base. Call it a day. Call it a day. And once again, we're looking at our base. We're currently boosting robos, we're currently boosting forges, we're fixing mineral patches that are oversaturated. So fix that. Fix that. Send that there. That's a new base. That's fine. And our economy is looking great. We have a little bit more gas than minerals, but that's okay. It is what it is. Okay. And what's going on over here? Okay. Whatever. Fix economy. Send it elsewhere. Oh, keep Chrono boosting my upgrades. Oh, we're chilling, dude. We're chilling. Every base looks good. Uh, I'm still getting attacked in bottom left. So we're losing units. Now what we can do is we can um, we can just A move my army. Also his main base is dead. We can just A move my army to, towards where the BCs are. That's fine. And we can just, again, keep expanding. Let's go to the other side of the map from where the BCs are just because the BCs are trying to be super annoying. And at the same time, he's floating buildings around the map now. So let's build a couple Stargates. That way we can kill him if he uh, if he just floats around the map all day and I can't kill him because he's floating in the corner because I have ground army only. This way we can at least kill him. Okay. Ground boost upgrade. Okay, bases are pretty well saturated. There's nothing really going on different. Uh, I mean, it, again, it's a constant maintenance though. It never ends. So you really have to just keep like right there, another one depleted again. 
you really got to just keep on top of it the entire time. But I think at this point, all we can really do is just wait until we have Void Race because uh, he's dead, but he's hiding on the map now. So let's just A move. Every ex single expansion on the map, like we talked about before, it, when you get in a position like this now against a player like this, A move, shift A move every base on the map. And you can even take some of your army, like green box it, for instance. Like grab a few units and leave it here. And just kill your own, kill yourself, like some of your own units with it. Like create some room for uh, Void Rays. So, because again, he's floating buildings. I have to kill him with air units. So you can just shift they move your own units like this. And then make voids over here where we made the Stargates. Just make a couple of Void Rays. Incredibly boost them out. And once once they're out, we can kill him. But he has no expansions. We, we've scouted every base in the map multiple times. There is no mining going on. Uh, and yeah, he's just wasting time. <laughs> I don't know. I really know how else to say it. <laughs> Right, Chrono Booster Stargates again. Okay, we're going to now take our Void Rays and we're going to do this. A move on the mini map. Bottom right. Okay, bottom right corner. Shift, they move the bottom left corner. Shift, they move the top left corner. Shift, they move the top right corner. And we're going to find... Okay, so he just took that base again. So now that's there. But again, this is why our army is on shift, they move, right? He is a bounty for defeating that turd burglar. Oh, thank you, Mel Capitan. I appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it, dude. We'll take these voiders we just made now and do the opposite. Top right, shift they move, top left, shift they move, bottom left, shift they move, bottom right. Okay. Uh, control F1, my probes. We can hold shift, grab more, and send them over to another base. We're over here. So a quick way to fix this if you're over is just go, okay, I'm six over. Grab like six probes here or something or seven. Send them over to the other place. And then you're good to go. This guy wants you to play Nexus Wars, everybody. He wants you to play Nexus Wars. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do stream delay next time I do a video. <laughs> I feel like I've been sniped like this entire Protoss video almost. Okay. <sighs> Can you block him? I'm not gonna block him. I'm not going to block him. That's a bit extreme, I feel like. <sighs> is it, though? It, is it, though? Is it, though? Yes. I mean, he wasn't really making me mad. I Guys, getting me getting sniped is no... I'm no stranger to it. I really, I really do think I should have just put stream delay on. I was debating doing it before I even made the series today. I and I, now I regret not doing it. It's okay. It's my own fault. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest bronze three of our lives here. <laughs> How does Masters match bronze? It's not actually Masters. It's uh, it's the game's bugged. People play their placement matches and get placed in Masters three. It's a bug in the game right now. Okay, so again. Make the gateway with our pylon. Make our gas. Get ready to make our nexus soon. We got our Protoss opponent. Let's go take our, ne our ne nexus at our natural. Saturate our gas properly because, again, 16 to 16 is what we're looking for. And if he seals my gas, it is what it is. That's not a factor right now that we're worried about. Okay, get our natural down, come back to the base, shift shift the nexus into the control group, and build our cyber core, 
and then start making our second guess. Yeah, he might cannon rush me. It's again, again, guys, I'm not even going to go check. This is not the priority. The priority is you need to learn how to macro. Macro beats so many things in genuine bronze level. Like, it just wins everything. So, now we are going to make a pylon. And we're chilling. We're just making probes. Okay, let's make a Stalker and a Warp Gate upgrade. Chrono Boost, our probe production. And both of our Nexus are currently rallied onto the natural. And let's make a Pylon here as well because we don't want a Supply Block. Also, we want to be able to Warp in eventually at the natural. So having a Pylon for Warp in field there is going to be nice. Chrono Boost, my boys. Rally my Stalker to the natural. Let's go ahead and get ready to start a Robo now and a second gateway. Because again, we're, we're starting to... Same thing again as that always happens is the concept of it is, is our money is starting to... It's going to start spinning or it's going to start grazing as faster than we can spend it. So we've been maintaining pro production the entire time, and our stalkers are still in production the entire time, and we're just spending the money that's excess uh, above that. Okay, let's currently boost our nexus at our natural. Make like another pylon over here. And get ready to take our third base because we're about to be fully saturated on that base right now. So we're just chilling. Okay, let's take our third base. All we're doing, again, the biggest thing we're doing, that's the best thing of all, is we're maintaining production. We're really, really, really trying to maintain production on our base. That's, that's the best thing you can do. Let's go to make an observer. Chrono, or add that uh, nexus into my control group. And... Keep making units as much as you can. Four, five, four, five, four, five. Look at your macro. Look at your macro. Make sure you're doing it all the time. Whenever you can. Look at your mineral lines. This base is already good. We know this. It's going to be good for a while. We're going to have to come back and fix this later. This base needs to be fixed now. We need to add gas to it. So that we can actually, uh, you know, get our gas going properly behind minerals. Keep making our army. Let's go ahead and... Is Terran already done? Terran's done for Bronze 3 to Runs 2. But there's many more Terran videos that are to come afterwards. Like I'm doing every race to GM, so there's a lot of videos that are going to happen. Okay, keep producing probes. Keep upkeeping my economy as much as possible. Make sure everything looks good. We're oversaturated here, so we gotta fix the saturation line. Rally it to the third. Keep producing units. Make it immortal. We can chrono boost our boys here, our Nexus. Yep. And third base is uh third base is getting up there. It's it's almost fully saturated. So once third base is fully saturated, again, that's going to be the time when we're going to take our fourth base. We're going to keep the mineral income going. We're doing a mineral focus build. All that good shit. I'm here in the shadows. We don't want a supply block. Let's go ahead and make a couple more pylons. Okay. And now we're good on this, this base right here, 16 to 16. So let's grab a probe and let's go take our fourth base. Another immortal, so we have it in queue. Make more, more probes. We're fully saturated here on this base, so we need to make gas. Okay. 
And this guy is attacking me with the cannon rush right now. So let's go ahead and take our army. You can see it on the minimap too. It's just blue right there. If you see this, you can attack it. If you don't see it, wait till it alerts you. We'll just wait till it alerts us. It's fine. We'll pretend we don't see it. Oh, our pylon's under attack. All right. Okay, let's suck the army and let's go attack that now. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab more gates. Let's grab like, this time let's get like seven more gates. Three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Make more units. Add that into my control group of production. Fix my economy over here. So grab some probes and send it to my new base. Probe count right now is 74. So let's make more. And let's grab some of these probes and put them on gas. I just green box them. We're one over still. So let's move it over. Let's actually take... Get ready. It's here pretty soon. Get ready to take another base. Because my probes are about to be fully saturated here again. So get ready for that. <laughs> take another pylon and this base is done so let's take this base right here hold shift make pylon make pylon let go of shift hold shift again right click the mineral line so I have multiple phases of queued up commands let's go ahead and build a couple more pylons in my main base yep you can warp in units Let's A move my entire army to what's happening right now. A move everything towards that area. The probe count is at 80. We're almost done. And look at our money. We're getting a lot, right? So let's make some more gates. Or here, I'll do it slower. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Don't be the guy that's like, I gotta line them up exactly. Just fucking build it. It can be sloppy. It's fine. Just don't put it in the middle of your mineral line. That's the only thing you get in, You want to not do. Probe count is good. We're at 85. Let's go ahead and make some stalker. Make a couple more pylons. And we can take gas here. Yeah, we're still getting attacked. So A move the mini map on that area. Fix this economy. Send it there. Take a probe. Build a gas. How about production? What are we looking at here? We're looking at 17. So let's make like one more robo. Let's make one more robo and let's make like two more gates. Like in the main or something. Hold shift and right click the mineral line. Okay. Add those into my control group. Add that robo into my control group. And we're good. Now let's take another base. Because we're, we got a lot of mineral lines fully saturated. And we're still depleting mineral fields. So we definitely want to... Uh, uh, you know. You know. Uh, fucking fix that. Put one more probe on that gas. Let's go to make stalkers. Again, all I'm doing with stalkers is I go four... S for stalker, it selects stalker, I can hold shift and I can click, 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 click. I'm here in the shadows. I'm here in the shadows. Okay, let's take two stalkers. One A move the top. One A move the bottom. We're looking for expansions. This way we don't get have people hiding bases on us. We don't want people hiding bases on our asses. Mineral fields are still depleting. Fix that. Where are they? Good. 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 Okay, we're still good. Apparently, some of my probes might have died or something. Mineral field depleted. Uh, oh, no. There's a probe mining these fields. Oh, I didn't even see he was doing that. Okay, well, that's why it was depleting. He just got caught on those those minerals. Okay, cool. I mean, you should mine those anyways because it's a wall that you can clear out of your base. But, yeah. We're good. Okay. So, looks like our opponent's... Furthest most base is the third base, potentially. 
So let's take my whole army and, sl and uh, select everything and go A move right up there to the top middle. So that way I can come in from an angle to hit the third first. Because again, if we're looking at map terrain, we want our army to hit the third first. And what is the only way to his third? That's at going from the third and not the natural. It's right here. It's either right there to the mineral line, which might still be there, or it's right here up this ramp. So we're going to lo locate our army near the ramp, and we're going to A move, shift A move, shift A move, and we're good. Now we're also going to counterattack at the same time, and again, like I said, in a moment like this where the base trade happens, fuck it, you got to just handle it, handle business. So now what we want to do is we're going to make probes, we're going to make probes as they die, we're going to relocate new probes to new bases, um, and we're just going to make stalkers. Things will die on both sides. Things will die on both sides. Okay? We actually never got upgrades. Let's definitely get that too. Let's get our forge and our council. We actually forgot that. Just make probes and stalkers. Probes are still good. Looks like he actually went home to defend. So we can actually A move our army right there instead to fix that and to stop that zealot from killing all my mineral line. Because there's no more voids here killing my base. Okay, so his third is dead. So if his third's dead, that's that's fine. We can uh, just attack from the natural now. Okay. So that was just again macro, right? It's just literally trying to build. Your, your build up. It's just trying to build your build up. And it's not even doing the build super fast either. There's so much room to grow to speed this up a lot. But try to keep up with the 11 minute max. If you can't keep up with 11 minute max, keep keep practicing. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. Uh, this definitely can max even a lot faster. Uh, but yeah. Again, same thing as always. Like if we look at the fight really fast, see how it goes. We'll just times eight this to like the fights and look at the supply during the, in the process. It's just going to... It should just be... A genuine player who plays in bronze that's got an inefficient looking economy, they're always going to be at supply disadvantages. Like crazy. Always at supply disadvantages. So again, if you look at the worker count, we have like double the workers. Look at how many workers have died. We've only lost six. Not that bad. But the whole game was based on those voids. Like, those voids just died, right? The whole game was really, really heavily put on the void raise back right there. And they weren't micromanaging how they should have been. Which is, it just means, uh, you know, void's probably not the best unit to go for. It's a unit that needs to be microed. So then when we, when we finally launch our counterattack at his base, we have double his supply. He had 90, we had uh, like 198. And then it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Noise. 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 Okay. Next game. Two voids and a dream there at the end. Respect you. Hi guys, I vibe. Yo, Raise a Legend. What's up, man? What's up, dude? What up, dude? It's the longest bronze ever. I know. We've got sniped a few times in uh, this series. In this one. It's okay. It is what it is. When will this be on YouTube? I always upload the day after I make it. This is my first Protoss game? No. This is like the eighth Protoss game. Bronze 3 is becoming a ladder session. <laughs> Okay, we got someone new. I don't think I've played this guy before, which is good. Good. Okay. <laughs> Confirm bronze three is MMR hell. That's no, okay. It's really just learning, just learning the game. It's it really just comes down to basic fundament. Like I, I'm gonna have to keep repeating myself because the video is pretty long. I'm sorry, but there's nothing else we should learn here. It's just learning. Like, I'm gonna, I'll try and, like, keep you guys informed of, like, hotkeys. Like, for instance, I'm clicking a probe. B, D. 
Click it, hold shift, right click the mineral line. That's how I just made that pylon. Like stuff like that is what I'm doing. Hey vibe, yo, what's up, we're good. What's up, dude? You must construct additional B E for some of us? Yeah, for sure. No, like whatever your hockeys are. Whatever your hockey is. You don't have to have my hotkeys. It's just understanding the concept of what a hotkey is. Okay, let's go ahead and build a gas. Have it go back to the mineral line. Let's right click the nexus onto the gas so new probes go in there. Let's grab one probe off the mineral line because we're oversaturated and look at our money. We're got 16 out of 16 and we're getting close to the nexus. Let's go build our nexus. Let's go back up, mine that gas. <coughs> Okay, let's go ahead and build our core now. Right click the Nexus onto the gas, the new one again. Let's go ahead and build a pylon when we have enough money for it. Build a pylon. Right click the gas again so you mine your gas. Build another probe. Okay. Shift click the nexus, click it, shift five into my nexus control group, control group, right click the mineral patch, make probes for it, click our gateway, control four. So I have, again, production on four, nexus on five. Let's go ahead and make a pylon. And then right click the mineral patch again. Let's make a stalker, a warp gate upgrade, <clears throat> and then make probes again. We can chrono boost probes this time. Chronobus probes this time. Because again, we're trying to chronobus probes. It's a mineral build, right? All mineral build, guys. Don't forget. I'm going to say it 5,000 times. Mineral build, guys. is mineral focus. Expansions are minerals. Everything about expansions are minerals. Probes, let me remind you. Probes, pylons, and nexus all only cost minerals. Just minerals. Let's go ahead and make a stalker. Let's take this probe and make our robo. And our second gateway. And then go back to mining minerals. Let's also rally our, our uh, production. So click our production here. Add it in a shift four. So that goes to group four. Rally four there. So we can, again, guard the front of our natural. You want to have your army like in front of your probes. That's always a good idea. Chrono Booster Nexus. Let's go ahead and take another Nexus because look at our money. It's getting high and look at our mineral line. It's getting pretty much fully saturated. So let's go build an expansion. Let's go ahead and start an observer. And we're super close to warp gate, so we're about to warp in stalkers. Let's make a Nexus. Make a couple pylons for it. Make probes. Go back to mining the mineral line. And now let's take our gas. And probably like another pylon. Okay, make it mortal. Make a couple stalkers. How often do you look at the mini map? As a bronze player, you should never look at the mini map. Honestly, you should only look at the mini map when you get alerted. Like you're under attack. Don't ever like I can't help it. I look at it, but I'm not using it. Period. Really, like, the only time I use the mini map is when I attack. My opponent in bronze again mini map awareness is not relevant yet we're not even worried about scouting it has nothing to do with the gameplay yet if you tell someone in bronze to scout you're going to overwhelm the shit out of them it's not good uh just really focus on the economy focus on your economy and how to like get faster at it get better at it do it like play every game and go vibe your 11 minute max is easy as fuck to beat every time i crush it not a problem. Once you can do that, then you're growing as a player. If you actually play a game in Bronze Zone, you're like, dude, how the fuck can you max out in 11 minutes? I maxed out at 18. Well, fucking, you gotta work on it, right? Gotta work on that. Let's Chrono Boost our Nexus. Chrono Boost our Nexus. Chrono Boost our Nexus. 
You're a wonderful human being vibe. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys like the series. Go ahead and make our stalkers. Let's go ahead and make another immortal. Let's keep making probes. Probe. 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 Let's make a pylon. We're going to supply block soon, so let's try not to do that. Let's make another pylon. Okay. Keep making probes. Let's go ahead and make a couple of stalkers. Keep making pi probes. Look at the third base, right? It's almost fully saturated, so let's go take a fourth base. Again, these attacks that attack you, you shouldn't even be a factor. You shouldn't even care. Because macro is superior. So, let's watch really fast. And again, look at the APM, guys. I'm trying very hard to not play fast at all. I'm trying super hard. I'm trying to not touch the keyboard. I tend to roll my fingers on like 345, 345, 345 all the time. I'm trying to barely touch anything. We have 30 fucking APM, guys. That's my average. 34. You can do this as well. You just need to understand what you're doing, which is make a control group for your Nexus, make a control group for your unit production, and just go 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5. That is really all you got to do. It's just maintaining production. 34 APM, isn't that Jane for Protoss? <laughs> no. Duh. <laughs> and now, watch this. Look, look at the supply. Look at, look at the supply. Look at the worker count. This is what always happens. Oh, yeah. Thank you for like so for the two month resub. Vibe so excited for B2GM. Thank you for making this great series for the players. You are a human treasure less than three, less than three, less than three. Also, make probes, boys. Keep making probes. Yeah, you do. That's what you gotta do. Cause think about it logically, okay? Think about it logically. If we this the, you see these numbers in top left right now? The, the, not the harvester number, even though it's it's very relevant what that re means. But notice how it says 335 for him and mine says 671. This is the well, the way that works, the way those numbers work, is it, it, the game calculates on average what it thinks you're going to make a minute. So it does fluctuate a little bit because minerals get turned in repeatedly. And whenever there's a second that goes by, the average goes down. Whenever minerals get turned in, the average goes up. Same with gas. So on average, it's going to be around the same number. It might fluctuate like 30 or 50 up or down. But this is what we're, the game says we're making about every minute. And if every minute that goes by, I am mining 300 more gas than my opponent, and I am mining 1,300 more minerals a minute than my opponent, do you guys know how much more units I can make than him a minute in supply? 1,300 minerals and 300 gas represents a supply value of probably 22 oh, supply. yeah. Or like 20 supply. Like, it's a lot. It's like, tw I get I to grow... At a rate of 20 supply faster per minute over my opponent. Which is why already we're 30 supply ahead, basically. Yo, uh, Ogamurger, Ogamurger, Murloc. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so look at what happens when he shows up to my base. Check this out. What happens when he shows up to my base? So Marine shows up, it dies. Now, remember the spy lead? It was 30, now it's 40. I return to serve. I'm here in the shadows. And then, remember how we talked about that spy lead being about 40? Now it's about 50, guys. And look at, look at this, okay? Here's the thing to keep in mind. Build relevancy, like resource-wise. How many units have died? Three units have died. Three Marines have died already. Three Marines have died. And in total, there are 24 Marines and 17 SCVs. Now, let's look at this for a second. So, 27 Marines plus 17 SCVs is 44, correct? That equals 44. And 44 times 50 is... 
2,200? Or no. What? Just kidding. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I'm right. 2,200. 2,200. So guess what? You want to know what this... Why is this relevant? Vibe, why are you talking about this? Why is why is 2,200 relevant right now in this game right now? What the fuck does that mean? Why does this guy have gas if he's going to spend... If, if his build is entirely 2,200 minerals in terms of units? Why, why is there gas? Like, what does it serve? What purpose does it serve? And it really only serves the purpose of this guy just probably does not understand what priority of resource means. He does not understand that. Most people don't. People don't get, honestly, people don't even understand this in Diamond League and everything below that. They don't. Like, like that. some Diamond players do, some Diamond players don't. But everything, like, Platinum and below, they don't. They don't. So, look at the, like, look at the build. Let's look at how early the gas was taken. Look, watch this. How early was this gas taken? Again, I, I hate to rip on you, Ter Terranus. I'm sorry, man. It's just, this is this is what everybody does. This is why I make the series, right? Because everyone does shit like this. So, so far, the build's been fine. It's five racks with two depots. But there is no orbital, which is a huge uh, chunk of your economy, right? So, no, no orbital is a huge chunk of economy because it's mules. It's a lot of fucking income that you're missing out on. But now, check this out. We're adding on more racks to a build that can't even afford to make units out of the existing racks that are there. These Watch the barracks production. In look at the bottom of the screen right now really fast. Watch the, watch the production in the bottom of the screen. Watch how idle everything gets. Idle, idle. Idle. And now, keep in mind, even though there's little dots in here that are making units, they're not producing. He is supply blocked at the moment, so they're not producing anything. Like, it's it's just, he can't afford it. You cannot afford this. You can't afford this. And now, the depot finishes, and what happens when the depot finishes? He gets one round of units, and then he's supply blocked again, essentially, because he can't afford it. So then it's going to stop production all over again. And now look at the production on half the racks. Nothing, 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 nothing. And then what follows this up? Double gas. And now going back at four minutes and what is it? Four minutes and it was like 15 seconds. Again, I'm, I'm not trying to rip on him right now. I know it probably sounds like I am, but I'm just saying this is where people always fall apart in this game. So going forward in the game right here, look at this at four minutes and 12 seconds. This is something that is very important to note. At 4 minutes and 12 seconds, this player's economy is at the same amount of minerals for income that he had at second number 1 in the game. You start with 12 workers on mineral line, and he's at 4 minutes and 12 seconds, he's back down to 12 minerals of SCVs mining. 12 SCVs mining minerals. And what do we have? 16, 18, and a new base getting set up. This is where people fall apart so hard all the time is because they have no... This this entire build is 100% minerals. 100% minerals. Like, this would make more sense if these gas didn't exist and a natural was made. And then he kept making more racks if he wanted to make more racks. If he was going to keep making more racks to make more marines. Otherwise, it would make more sense if he just made, like, four racks and depots only and just made constant production out of, like, four racks because that's about as much as you can sustain off of you know an all in like this so it's just not there's there's no uh presence of mind in terms of like what means what with minerals and, re and gas it's just random is all it is so i'm trying to teach you guys if your build is if your build is pure mineral why the fuck are you mining gas what's what's the gas going to accomplish here and then we're not even going to talk about logic of build yet. I, I'll, I'll briefly mention it for, for a second, okay? Logic of build is going to come later. More towards, like, Diamond League. But look at, the, look at the logic of build, okay? Think about this for a second. Why would you go for seven barracks? And again, I know I'm being hard on this guy. I'm so sorry, Terranus. This is the last thing I'll say. 
Why would you go for seven barracks for a marine all in and then make a planetary fortress? Like you're all in as fuck if you do this. So what is the point of a planetary? Why are you defending yourself when you're also all in your opponent? It doesn't make any sense. It's like two different builds entirely. Uh it doesn't it doesn't just doesn't make any sense. And yeah, speeding up back to the fight again now. This is that it's things like what I just said, like all that production that he can't afford. That he kept getting some he kept getting supply block, supply block, supply block, supply block. Guys, he's got seven fucking production buildings. He's got seven racks. I have two gateways and a robo. I have three production buildings to his seven. Yet I have double his supply. Why is that? 100% upkeep out of a less amount of buildings is better than like 20% upkeep or 20% production time out of more buildings. He has more than double the production buildings that I have, yet he has less than half my supply. It's because my uptime of gateway and robo is at about 99% to 100%. His uptime of barracks is at like 20% to like 25%. So like 75% of the time, the building is just sitting there doing nothing. And you know what that means? That means that four racks are the equivalent of like one racks. So the fact that he has seven racks, that's actually the equivalent of like almost two barracks. And if he had almost two barracks production value of 100% uptime, he would have the same fucking supply that he does now. As opposed to like seven with shitty uptime. I'm here in the shadows. Seven, four equals seven equals two. I hope you understand what I mean. It's, it's, it's not about just building buildings. It's about using the money that you have in buildings that you already have. Not about just building more randomly. That's uh, the whole. That is the biggest concept I'm trying to like portray here in this in this uh, bronze version section of this series. And then that was it, right? And that's all she wrote. Like it's it's just about mac. It's really about macro. You really need to macro. GG, Vibu, GG, GG. Did I miss Zerg? I already did Zerg Bronze 3. I've already done Terry Bronze 3 and Zerg Bronze 3. Uh, you guys haven't missed an entire series. It's, it's okay if you're wondering about that. It's going to take me like two months to finish the series, by the way. It takes a while. Are we going all the way to Silver 3 on all races today? Definitely not. No, 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 no. It, it's taken already six hours to do bronze three on all three races. And the reason why, the reason why it's taken so long to do bronze three on all three, all three races is because I had to uh, drop the MMR down way below what it should have been. Because every time I played placement matches, it, put, it placed me into Masters three. It's a bug in the game right now. So I had to leave League and leave all my placement matches like four fucking times per race. Which is why I'm so deep into Bronze 3. I'm like, I was at like almost 900 MMR in all three races. And then also my Protoss series, I've been getting sniped a little bit. So it's taking even longer. Because <laughs> I'm playing people who are playing way above Bronze. Every once in a while. Okay. There is, is, is that. There was that game. So what you're saying is, I should micro. Hey, you do you, do you man. You do you. Not what I said. But you do you. I can confirm I was diamond for like four seasons and still learn so much from bronze to plat that helped me even just today. Thanks, vibe. Yeah, no worries. Why snipe? People want to be on a video. They want attention. They want the attention, Ola. All right, boys. We got ourselves another Protoss game here. Uh, is, it, is this the same guy who just left the game? Hopefully he doesn't leave again. I don't want to get promoted through just people leaving. Okay, we're going to make a pylon. Probably 
probably left because of mirror match. They're random, right? Is he random? He's random. I don't know. It's, it doesn't matter. Oh, Yo, okay, so platypus. Yeah. Thank you, man. You, must construct additional you played enough of bronze, you deserve it. I, I, I kind of agree, to be honest. This Protoss one's been pretty long. Mini games. <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay, let's make a gas. Chrono boost that bad boy. Chrono boost that bad boy. Chrono, chrono boost it. Let's go ahead and win the game. All right, we're one game away. I've already gotten 10 wins on Protoss. Oh my good lord. Uh, one win away, boys. We're one win away from Bronze to... Nath. Nath. Very Nath. How do you know how many wins? I just got the achievement for 10 Protoss wins. Jazzcock. It's Jazzcock. What's up, Theory? What's up, dude? Okay. There we go, guys. Here comes the first loss. I've uh, I've lost twice already to a, to a Smurf. A Zerg player who really wanted to give it to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's okay. It doesn't matter. You man B2 GM is my jam. Yo, Food of Fear, thank you for the 26 month resub, dude. I'm glad you like it. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and make a pylon. <sighs> no wall versus Zerg. I'm not I don't want to teach walls right now. I shouldn't even have taught walls in Terran Bronze 3, honestly. It doesn't you shouldn't be teaching too much at once. You should you should grow people up as Bit by bit. I think in Bronze 2 and Bronze 1 videos for Terran, I'm not going to wall anymore. You shouldn't be teaching walls in Bronze. It's too much. Like, you can't just assume people know everything. Teach I'm going to teach walls in Silver League, I think. I think Silver League will be the wall league of proper placement. The only reason why I taught walls is because I changed the series for Terran. It was bio, and I was like, maybe we should do walls. I, sh I should not have done walls, though. Okay, let's build our nexus. Let's build our core. Grab this Nexus and shift it into group 5. So now we have two on group 5 for Nexus. Fill the gas. Let's also build a pylon. And then now get ready. We're going to we can start chrono boosting our probes again because again the build is mineral focused, guys. Don't forget that. That's the biggest thing you need to know. Mineral focus fucking build. We need to do it. We need minerals. We should make a stalker. We should make a warp gate upgrade. We should make a chrono boosted nexus. We should make a probe. We should make a pylon. We should make another probe. Should make a stalker. We should make a robo and a gateway. Make two probes. Grab these buildings, these new production buildings, shift four. Now it will say three on the command card. 
Because we, again, we're, we're grabbing all our production as we build it and putting it in before it's done. Okay. Let's currently boost our probes again. Grab my select all army and send it all to the front of my base because I have one stalker back here. I don't want that to be back there. Make another stalker. Keep producing out of my buildings, guys. Build probes. And now look at the mineral line, fully saturated, as we know already, the, the process of how that goes. Let's build our nexus at the third. Build a pylon with it. Build another pylon with it. Build an observer. Build probes. Build our a gateway unit, a sucker. Look on this, thank you, man. Tightened up my B2GM and made it to Diamond 3 for the first time. Nice. You made it to Diamond 3 for the first time? Good shit, dude. Awesome. Well done. Well done, dude. We're gonna make a gas. Another gas. Take another pylon so we don't supply block. Shift click the mineral line so our probe doesn't sit there idle forever. Go back to 4-5. Four, 4-5. Five, four, five. We need to make probes. We need to make stalkers. We need to make an immortal in a second. Stalker. Stalker. Immortal. Go back to making probes. It's a never ending cycle, guys. Never ends until you get 85 workers. Grab three probes. Put them on the gas. Five for my nexus. Right click the mineral patch down here. Make three probes. Make stalkers. Make immortal. I'm here in the shadows. Okay. Make three probes. Let's make a couple of pylons in my main so I can increase production and also not supply block. Currently boost my probes. Again, you don't have to be perfect at any of this. Just do your best. Just try to macro as best you can. Try to keep on top of four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five. Macro, 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 macro. If you can't do that, get better at it. It there's it's there's no there's no participation ribbons in StarCraft 2. If you can't do four, five, macro, 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 or whatever hockey is you use in the process of that, you will never advance. You have to accept that. I know that's some tough love right there, but it's fucking true. You have to accept the fact that you have to understand how to macro constantly. Because uh, otherwise you cannot win at this game. I love you guys, but that's how it goes. That's how it, that's how it's the tough love. The vibe of tough love right there. Five. Probe, probe, probe. Four. Stalker. Stalker. Immortal. Fully saturated. Take gas. Take gas. Shift. Mineral. Click a patch. With right click it. Okay. Money is getting kind of high. I'm spending my money uh, out of my production. I don't. I can't spend it anymore. So let's currently boost our probes. Currently boost our probes. Currently boost our probes. Let's make more gateways. Gateway. 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 Oh. Infamous. Thank you. For the sub. We just made like seven more gates. Probes, Stalkers, Immortal, Tab Immortal, grab three probes, put them on the gas, grab three probes, put them on the gas, and if you guys are wondering like how vibe, how are you grabbing three probes at a time, I am literally just good at green boxing them, but if you're not, if you go like this, oh god I got ten, you can just try again, or if you grab like, let's say you grab too many, you can go like this. Right click it, shift click, one, two, three, right click your mineral line again, and that's also fine. Grab all my gateways, shift four, make probes out of my nexus. Let's make a, a council and a forge. Rotate to my third base, or my, sorry, my fourth base. Make probes, transfer some probes over that are over. We need to grab six, that is six. Make units. Oh. Let's go vibe you, ooh you. I'm here in the shadows. 
Vai bu uh, 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 uh. Vai bu uh, 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 uh. Thank you, Nomies. Thanks, man. Grab six probes from my main because it's over. Saturated. We're good. Let's transfer, or let's uh, rather, sorry, build another Nexus because we're we're getting oversaturated here. We can build our gas. Make another round of stalkers. Oh. Oh. What league are we in? We're in bronze three. This is intro entry to the game right now. This is like welcome to StarCraft 2. Okay, let's go ahead and A click a stalker on the right side of the map. Again, we're looking for bases. We're almost maxed. Let's go find out where his bases are. Same thing on the left side. A click a stalker on the left side of the map. Let's find bases. We just A clicked both stalkers all over the place. Off the mini map. We did it off the mini map, okay? Off the mini map. We didn't drag our screen around. Click, 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 click. Uh, if you also drag a screen around, there's a chance you might miss a base. Okay, let's grab probes. Send them to the gas. Probe count currently is at 79. Let's make more. We're not done yet. Send more probe to the gas. Okay, let's get rid of these mineral patches with the, with one probe. It'll mine them out. And we're at 85 probes now, guys. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field, we're good. Send them over here. We're good to go. Okay, let's make another immortal. Let's make stalkers. Stalker. 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 Okay, guess what? We maxed out. We beat the quota. 1026. We maxed. Good shit. Let's start chrono boosting our upgrade. Start chrono boosting our thingy over here. And we see our opponent has two bases. Select all army, A move, shift, A move, shift, A move. Behind this, explode production, okay? So what are they gonna do? Make a second robo, and make a bunch of gates. Gateway, 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 gateway. Gateway, 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 gate, gateway. 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 I feel like that should be enough. We're probably around 24 production buildings now. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. If you're at 26, it's okay. If you're at 21, it's okay. We can now go grab them. So, control click our buildings. Control click our buildings. Shift 4. We now have 22, 23, 24. That's actually 24 exactly. There you go. Boom. 24 production buildings. Two robos and 22 gateways. We're on par. Now it's macro again. I'm here in the shadows. I'm here. Tab, tab, I'm immortal. Here. Immortal. Keep making stalkers wherever I can with the cooldown. I'm here. Let's look at our upgrade really fast. Chrono boost that bad boy. Look at our mineral patches. This needs to be fixed. Fix that right now. Set them there. Mineral patch is getting double digits. It's getting kind of high. Let's make another base. Nice. Hold shift. Click. 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 Clicky. Clickety clack. Click clack clack. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. Let's make immortals. Immortal, immortal, click, 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 click. Look, boys, I just made a bunch of stalkers. Oh my goodness. Do it again. A move, shift A move. So you can do it on the minimap or on the screen, okay? I'll do it on the minimap again, like I said before. But when it's when it's more close and you're not doing the whole fucking game map anymore, it's totally fine to do it in their base if you're if you're if they're not on mini bases anymore. But this time we'll go like this. A move, shift A move, shift A move. So we just did main, main, main. I would not be surprised if my army gets really stupid though. And if it does, I'll show you why. Because if there's a, if there's a walled ramp, you have to click there first. 
Otherwise, your army will be like walking into the cliff, and not running up the ramp. It's AI is super stupid. Let our enemy know our okay, let's go ahead and get ready to take another expansion, because mineral fields are depleting, guys. Mineral fields are depleting, and fast. Okay, let's go ahead and saturate that base. This base is still good to go. Let's go ahead and build a lot of stuff. So you're just showing Bronze 3? I don't think so. I think you only think that because you've been playing StarCraft 2 for a while and you're uh, above the standard of what new to the game means. I guarantee, here's the funny thing. I guarantee my bronze three can beat an inefficient gold player. And what does that mean for you if you're a gold player and you would lose to my bronze three? It means that you have some efficiency problems in your play. You're probably the kind of player that does weird crap all the time. And you have, you don't understand what efficiency even means at all. Like you're the guy who goes for a mineral build and mines a lot of gas, stuff like that. Like it's, it's a real thing. You need to understand what builds actually mean, like how to do them properly. Okay, same thing again. Select all army, A move, shift A move, shift A move. So we died on his natural again. We'll try again, see what happens. We're overset, we're underset, or nothing's here now. So grab my probes, go to the new base. How about my natural, oversaturated? Let's go to the new base. How about this base? It's good. This base, good. This base, good. Okay, another mineral field just depleted. Where was that at? Uh, I don't... Oh, there it is. <clears throat> this base is also starting to mine out now. Let's transfer probes. Look at my supply. Build supply right now. Build units. Let's make two immortals. Immortal. Immortal. Make stalker. Stalker. Upkeep is a serious thing, guys. Upkeep is a serious thing. If your opponent can't die, and he won't die, it's okay. He will eventually die. The reason why is because your opponent doesn't have as many bases as you do. If your opponent can't expand like you can, it means that you will overpower them over time. Let's go ahead and transfer these probes to a new base. Another investment guys are depleted. Let's go ahead and transfer those probes to a new base. Make more stalkers again. And now it's been a while since we've scouted the other bases on the map. So let's go ahead and make sure that he didn't float a command center to some other base and he's legit one base all inning or in a one base all in situation. I have to getting stuck on the ramp. I know exactly what's happening. You don't have to tell me. But you know what I don't want you to do? I don't want you to fucking micro. You know why I don't want you to micro? Because it goes into the same exact thing I talked about with philosophy earlier about tunnel vision. I know what's happening here. The soccers are dying to probably like 20 tanks on the high ground. But it's okay. Because even that, though that's happening, that's not what's important. What is important is developing a good habit, which is just properly managing an economy the entire game. Can you do that? If you can't do that, you can't win a higher level. So yes, the answer to this game right now might be micro my stalkers for a second to kill the tanks. But if I do that at a higher level, it's not always going to be the answer. Sometimes the answer is don't suck at macro. Most of the time, that's what the answer is. So if you can't beat this situation with macro, you can't beat more difficult situations with macro if you can't even beat this one. That is a serious concept that you that people need to understand. Okay, let's go ahead and A move. Shift A move. Shift A move. Shift A move. We found the only base that is not in his base. We just scouted the whole map and this is the only base that doesn't exist in his main. Uh, that's on the map somewhere else. So we're about to kill it. Let's go ahead and build another Nexus over here. Build a couple pylons at it. And why are we doing this? Because we're maintaining saturation properly with about 85 probes. We actually have 86, but it's fine. Let's go to booster upgrade. Mineral field's depleted, guys. Let's grab it. Grab some probes. Let's grab one probe over here and send it over here. There you go. 15 out of 16. 16 out of 16. 3 out of 4. This is fully depleted. 8 out of 8. 9 out of 10. 12 out of 16. Like Everything's good right now. Nothing is bad. It's all efficient. Let's go ahead and start macroing more units again. Because again, guys, you have to realize, if you're genuinely, if you are genuinely in bronze, you don't really know what you're doing yet. 
But you don't need to know what you're doing yet, as long as you know the only thing that matters for you right now is that you just macro through every problem you have. If you can't beat every problem you encounter through macro, that means your macro is not good enough. Because macro can beat everything everyone does in lower leagues. It really can. If you don't play efficient, that's a problem. There's still a ton of money on this map, guys. I could go all day here. Make two immortals. Immortal. Immortal. How's he building those stalkers so fast? I'm holding shift and I'm clicking the mouse. And I have a lot of gateways, so I can man con continuously do it. Okay. Mineral field depleted. The gas depleted. Let's grab my probes. Send them over somewhere new. Let's go ahead and take this gas right here. So we can get that going. This space is still good. This base is still good. This base is oversaturated. Let's grab them, send them somewhere new. Since we're, since we're setting a new base set up, let's get another expansion because it's, you know, bases are getting mined out. This base is still good. Let's select the army. Attack is third. Attack is natural. And then this time we're actually going to properly shift attack into the main on the ramp and then attack into the main base. So we actually get vision of the ramp ideally. Okay. Colonel boost my upgrade. This base is about to be mined out. Transfer probes somewhere else. Like here, that's fine. Transfer probes to the gas. Mineral fields are depleting all over again. Where are they at? Mineral, mineral field depleted. How about this one? It's about to deplete as well. We'll just grab this first. Send it somewhere new again. Fresh base. Uh, yeah, we're good. Take two, take two gases here. Okay, that mineral field's gone. Send the probe up here, and we'll just mine the gas with it, too, in a second. Okay, more mineral fields are depleting over here. Let's grab probes and send them somewhere new again. See, I got gas for days, guys. Or I got uh, resources for days, guys. Resources for days. And look at the mini-map. He's breaking now. So it doesn't matter what he has, micro is not the answer. And we broke, th we broke through the problem with macro. You can literally break through every problem you have in platinum or below with macro. He cannot last forever because every time even one tank dies, if I lose 20 stalkers in the process, but his income is zero and mine's 3000, I will break him over time. Because every time he loses a chunk of his defense, he can't rebuild it, it's gone. He has no money to, to build stuff again. So check this out. We'll, we'll go back to when we first attacked him, and we'll see how this, these fights looked. I imagine I was running into tank line after tank line after tank line. So look at the supply right now. Here's a good example. Look at this supply, dude. Look at the look at the minerals and the gas, and look at the supply. This is pure macro. I haven't. I didn't change my composition once. It was stalker immortal, stalker immortal, stalker immortal. It doesn't matter that it is a bad composition against tanks on a high ground with siege. It doesn't matter. What matters is is the economy, because it's it, uh, composition. It, we're not there yet. Composition. Do something easy. This is easy. Composition comes later. It's just look. Look at this. Remember the percentage thing we talked about? Okay, let's add it up. Thirty-one SCVs for Terran. Okay, 31 SCVs for Terran, and we have two of them in the main base are inoptimal, and where the fuck are all of his SCVs, man? We have some SCV sitting there. Does he have SCVs in a bunker or something? No. Where the hell did all his SCVs go? There's 18 in the main, and there's 10 in the natural. It's 28. There's three missing SCVs. Well, it doesn't matter, though. Like... Look at, look at the mineral line. Look at this mineral line. I have not even attacked the mineral line yet. I have killed zero workers at this point. Zero workers have died. Workers killed zero, zero for both players. Yet there are only seven workers on the natural. In total, at, at 11 minutes into the game, at 11 minutes into the game, my opponent has managed to make 19 SCVs mine minerals. At 11 minutes... There are 19 SCVs mining minerals, and two of them are inefficient because they're in the red. They're mining poorly. That is what happens to people all the time in lower leagues. They don't fucking mine properly at all. Now, if we look at our build really fast, 
we have 8 plus 14 mining minerals efficiently plus 16 plus uh, it's really 16 four of those are not efficient plus 2 so we have 32 34 uh, 48 50 54 or 56, sorry. 50, we have 56, 56 probes mining minerals efficiently at minute 11 in the game. 56 versus 17 probes mining efficiently. Because, again, he's got 7 plus 10. It's not the same thing at all. Fat stalker cock. It, it, this is why you, you got to focus on this first as a player to grow as a player. And now all the stalkers are getting roasted by tanks. It's totally fine. But look, his natural still died in the process. He's still losing. <coughs> Over time, my observer flies into a missile turret. I lose vision of high ground. My army is just getting murdered by tanks and marines and bunkers. That was a super cost efficient fight, right? That was super cost. Look at the resources lost. Oh my God. Super cost efficient for Terran. But does it matter? When I mine that much compared to what he mines, it doesn't matter at all. That was 4th of July, dude. And it happens again like two more times. But you know what happens every time is he loses a little bit here and there. A little bit here and there. A little bit here and there. And he eventually breaks. So here comes the second round. Here comes the second round. I'm just shift A moving his expansions. And what does he lose this time? He loses the SCV building the command center. He loses a tank. He loses a second tank. He loses a third tank, a fourth tank. He loses the command center. He loses a couple marines. He loses another tank. This is what will happen to players if they have no income. He can't keep up with me forever. And I literally max out, max out, max out, max out, max out, max out. Economy is how you win games, not micro and low levels. You you have to understand this is what you need to do. You have to do this. If you want to grow as a player, if you can't do what I'm doing right now, you will never go that far in StarCraft. You have to macro. Obviously, later on in the game, when you get really, really good, you can do macro with specialistic builds where it's like, I'm going to do a two base all in or a three base all in or a timing attack. It doesn't have to be as boring as just sitting here making stalkers and a moving. It's not that simple. At higher levels, it definitely gets more complicated. But you have to realize at higher levels, if you are like, if you look at a player who's masters plus, they can by default macro like this regardless every time. They can macro better than this every time regardless. It's not even a, a question. You have to be able to macro to then build on top of yourself with like a foundation to then be able to micro and do other things. If you can't macro, you can't do anything in StarCraft. If you can't macro, macro is like the key to everything in this game. So you have to be able to do that. And again, let's look at the APM really fast. Guys, we got 50 APM. Nothing too crazy. I'm not playing at 400 right now. And again, look, look at this fight as it starts, right? Another terrible fight for Protoss. This is a terrible fight for Protoss. Because our units are getting stupid as fuck with the shift rally of a move. But look what happens. Tank dies. Marine die. Marine die. Bunker dies. Another tank is about to die. But tank dies. What if I get really good at stalker blink micro? No. Then can I get away with never macro? No. You can't. D4T, I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. Now let's look at resources lost really fast. Look at that resources lost graph. Or uh, chart here. 4,950 for Terran. 28,550 for Protoss. But yet we're still the ones who are maxing out repeatedly and he's on 50 supply. It doesn't matter. What matters is this. We're mining more than 10 times his value of resources. And again, we're maxed out, and here we go again for another round. And my opponent's mining off of two mineral patches. This is what you got to focus on, 
You gotta focus on the proper, efficient macro as much as possible. Fix your economy every time you can. And then here we go, here's the next round. And what's gonna happen this time? Tank dies. Tank dies. Tank dies. Tank dies. Marines die. Bunker dies. Tank dies. So he's actually losing stuff every time. And now let's look at resources lost. Oh my god. That's huge. Th 38,000 for Protoss. Oh my god. We're so fucked. Like, it's, it's high. But look at Terran's income. It's at zero. It's legit zero. He's got fucking zero income. So, I can lose resources all day and remake army all day versus someone who's mining zero. Because he can't expand because we're out macroing him. Money is not infinite in this game. You have to expand. Legacy of the Void requires you to expand because bases mine out so fast. So now here comes the next wave. And you know what he can't do in the next wave? He can't rebuild what's on the ramp because he has no money. He has 1,000 minerals in the bank and 2,000 2, gas and 1,000 minerals in the bank. But he's got no way to make anything beyond that. That's like six tanks right there. Or five tanks. Like just tanks only. And now he's just dead. It's all about that macro, guys. It's all about that macro. It doesn't matter if you lose 39,000 resources to the opponent's 10,000. It matters if you mine, you know, like 100,000 uh, resources to your opponent's 10,000 resources. We're mining so much more than he is the entire game for 21 minutes. Bronze 2. Bronze 2. Hell yeah. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you guys are like, wow, that is interesting. But uh, that's probably going to be the longest league we're going to have for Protoss up until maybe like Diamond. I really don't think any league we're going to play in is going to be that long again. We'll have to see. Uh, I don't have any wood to knock on. But yeah, Bronze 3 was super long. We got sniped a little bit, and also it was it started off at super low MMR. So it took a while to get through it. Sorry that this was such a long video, but if you made it to the end, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot about it, and I will see you in Bronze 2. Uh, until then, take it easy, good luck in your own games, and see ya.